Hello, everybody, and welcome to another patch analysis video. It is Thursday. 7.10 is now here. Suns fan here with a couple of newbies, at least newbies to Dota Cinema itself. Jenkins, I think all, a lot of people know him from the Hello. NA Dota scene, the, the Pudge player extraordinaire. How's it going, buddy? That's basically all I can do. I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? It's always great. And this other guy, I was really excited that he wanted to come on. Uh, his name is Carlo. I don't know why your Twitter is 3x tacos, but it is. I and don't know. no one really knows. Who are you? Tell, tell us everybody who you are. Well, I uh, live in the Moonduck house. Oh, and he's I'm a squatter. I'm a squatter. I'm the other guy who plays games with them. Oh, okay. I've and been I, on the camera once or twice before, and yes. most people say I'm the other guy. Or You've done a lot guy? of PUBG as well, I think, right? Yes. Yes. And, okay. I, I'm very excited because <clears throat> you are probably the best personality in that house. Yes. Not that that's saying much, but, you know, it is what it is. So, are you guys excited for 7.10? I'm guessing you guys have already read it, but we're going to go over it again. Um, yeah. Uh, Jenkins is not excited. I mean, I'm... <laughs> he got a little hosed. It looks pretty bad for offlane, to be honest. So Okay, gonna... we'll get to that. No spoilers, Jenkins. All, all right, right, all right. All I'm, right first... I'm excited for the weekly patches. We'll say that much. Maybe <laughs> I'm more excited for the next week. So yeah, so my theory going into this was that there was a giant patch that they had that they just split up into a bunch of patches. And this one is quite substantial. Uh, as far as length is concerned, so yeah. stop meowing, stop it, cat. Sorry, she's running around with my Probably sock in her mouth. I didn't right need to. I can't help you can't myself. Can't do that on it's a Twitch. Okay. Anywho, let's get started. So, enable Dark Willow and Captain's mode. This is one of the biggest changes, obviously. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, this hero it's gotten nerfed a little bit, but I mean, it felt like it was way too overpowered when they first put it in, and uh, I mean, the nerfs. More balanced. You just you just said that you got hosed in mid. I don't know. I mean, no, I got hosed. I got hosed on Dark Willow because I suck. Not not because Dark Willow That's sucks. I mean, That's fair. The hero just has a two second stun at level one, or that big bramble maze, which is basically an ultimate. The, mm -hmm. the nuke, which is basically Slar culty, and then two, two ultimates. Ults. You <laughs> two can fear ultimates. everybody. Yeah, I mean it's. I, I think I think it I think it's gonna be a top pick top man. I know that's kind of a blanket statement. It's pretty obvious, but it's. It's just it's very very good, and the amount of the amount of utility that it offers is just way too much. So in oh, these yeah, like higher level games, do they do they play her? I mean, when when she was playing Captain's Draft, of course, it's a small sample size. It was like what, maybe ten games throughout the entire tournament and qualifiers. Uh, right. I, I think mid was maybe like once. I think yeah. I saw off lane once randomly, but it was mostly as a position five, sometimes four. Yeah, yeah. I I, th I think um, I I. Th I feel like it's a good five roll because all of the abilities are pretty strong at level one. Like the the what's it called the W ability, it basically functions as a circle to you no matter what. Uh, just the cooldown is reduced, the damage is increased. The mm -hmm. two second stun is is a very long stun duration at level one. Just a lot and of then, utility. Uh, yeah, and, the, and then the bramble maze is like a. I mean, it's a huge friggin' maze. So mm -hmm. it, it, you think like oh one second stun duration or root duration of the bramble maze not a big deal, right? But it, it's the fact that you can keep rooting somebody with those roots. So yeah, I, I think I think five rolls good for it. But I also think that people just haven't, at least from playing pubs, I've I've noticed that a lot of people haven't been playing at mid. But the people who do like they destroy with it. So I feel like as a mid as a mid hero, it's I think it's versatile. I think you can play it in any lane and offlane too. I've been playing it on offlane. It's pretty good because you can just escape with the hard to kill. It's very hard to kill, very hard to kill. And that has high utility, too, with, with, without very much mm -hmm. gold, you know? So. And you can gank, you can move yeah, around. I, I honestly think every roll, except for carry. I've, she played. As, she was played as a carry as well, actually. Literally every really? position, yeah, huh. if I remember what, correctly. What was the build for carry? Oh, God. I don't know. I'd have to look again. Veil? Um, like a... Probably Veil. Orchid. Yeah. I think it was an Orchid. Veil, Blink, Orchid, something like that? Mm. That's not Yeah, good. I can't remember. Just nuke people. Yeah, I but mean, that's very, very versatile, like you're saying. I'm, I'm sad that there's no Pangolier yet. I don't know how you guys feel, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty big, sad about that, too. I'm a big I Pango spammer. You like that little Pango there, you're a, you're a, I do. You're a I Pango do. spammer. Like an 80%. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I, I 85% <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'd like that's I'd true. like to see what people do with Pangolier and uh, Dark Willow, because I think that... I think that in terms of pub builds, these heroes haven't been optimized yet. When you see these heroes get put into captain's mode, that's when they really get optimized, and they feel really start complaining about them being overpowered. Like nobody's complaining about Terrorblade being overpowered until people start picking it, right. going the right builds, and everybody copies it. Yeah. So it's like we're we're, we're going to see a whole new Dark Willow and Pangolier when they get added to captain's mode in pubs because the pros are going to optimize, and uh, then the pub players are going to copy it and just destroy with it. Yep, I think we can expect Pango to be in before Ti, at the very least. So he's probably pretty close now. You would hope so, because that would make that would make Ti very interesting. 
It's a very yeah. interesting hero, high skill cap. I mean, I think he's probably ready now, honestly. It's just they probably didn't want to put two heroes in the same patch, I'm guessing. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense. It, it's it's a lot, honestly, adding adding one hero, especially with how much stuff that these that these heroes do that other heroes don't. You know, so, yeah, pretty... All right, so moving on, because this is quite a substantial patch in terms of text. Uh, most of it is actually talent changes, so uh, I yeah. think the best way to go about it is I'll just read it all, and then you guys tell me if anything stands out as being anything interesting because a lot of it is very good minor. or bad yeah it's good or bad as well uh but first let's go over a couple of the general changes bounty rune base goldie bounty increased by 10 effects runes after the first one so you get a little bit more gold but you no longer get experience what off in god's death. name oh that hurts we're, mr jankies is an offlaner here so dude we were talking about this and they were mm -hmm. like oh man it sucks to be an offlaner or support now and i was like no dude it doesn't suck to be a support because you get that tomb right that's right. Your tome is up to 500 to 700. Yeah, tome is up as well. Off, yeah. So there's like something to make up for it if you're a support. But when does an offlaner ever get the tome? That doesn't happen in Only Dota. Only when they're dicks. I guess, I don't know. It's just, it's it's going to be rough because half of the time on the offlane is spent is spent uh, kind of optimizing. Uh, you know, you do a side pull, pick up the bounties. You can go stack. Like there's things that you can do while picking up the bounties. But now... Uh, those those don't give you XP. I mean, they give you gold, which is which. I mean, is sweet, but but you can't stay in the lane. You'll, most you most won't be competitive. Yeah, you can't. You most off laners. Yeah, I mean, if if, if you get under leveled to the to the carry, like the carry is just gonna destroy you. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you have items because it's, it's at least for the current off laners, like the skills really matter. So I get. I guess we could see a shift towards less uh less level dependent off laners or like a dual dual lane setup. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. I thought maybe two one twos will be back into the fray again. Which is fun because it's more fighting. It's been kind of trending towards Agreed. that too. Like I've, at least in pubs, I've noticed a lot of people are doing the you bully know, off lane. Yeah, bully off lane. They'll, they're doing like treant plus one. You know, just sitting like a tusk in the off lane with a weaver or something like that. Like co-op, yeah, co-op, yeah, co super fun off lane now. Yeah, puck, puck plus one. Just like basically prioritizing these lane dominating mm -hmm. off laners with, uh, it, with it's not with just some lane dominating <laughs> dual laner. I feel like it's not just off laner. Like position four, going stealing bounty runes. That's you can still do it. You're just not going to get any experience now, which really sucks. And oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll like, punish the anyone usually... who's not good at playing a four and has to roam but doesn't get kills. Yeah, which I think, I mean, it's good and bad, I guess. But uh, the tome is typically reserved for, in a lot of cases, the position five, I would say. Uh, maybe now yeah. you prioritize position four because of that. Honestly, I yeah. I th I, honestly, probably, because the position five, they, they're just kind of sitting in lane. They'll probably get mm -hmm. a lot more experience than a position four. Because the position four is like the, only the bounty, basically just the bounty room. What yeah. your XP was. If you weren't getting kills, it was just the bounties. You know that was that was the way that you would deal with having kind of a hard game. So well, I, I think um, it's not only that, but the changes in the last, and it's still something. Again, when you've played this game as many years as we have, a lot of these changes just don't sink in. But the fact that you go get a kill or two on a on a roamer, you get almost no experience anyway now these days. Yeah, you know it's crazy. Yeah. Like oh yeah, that's a couple true. Of years ago, it's like you're level two right away, and that's definitely not the case now. Yeah, they, they nerfed it, so it's like it, it scales better into the late game, but in the early <clears> game, it's just the, the XP is just awful. The XP bounty, and the gold, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, moving on. That's why on. a lot of pros die early on. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, and if you kill somebody, they, they take barely any time to respawn now, mm -hmm. too, in the early levels. So, yeah, yeah you're right. Kills true. are definitely trending towards like not being worth Not nearly as relevant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, melee creeps gold bounty reduced by one. Okay, they just wanted a nice even number, I think. Pretty much. Which is crazy. Range over melee all day now. I mean, yeah, I guess you can ignore them. It's like how many creeps are there? What is it? Four, four per wave. Wave every thirty seconds. So there's twenty. So that's like you figure. What are you gonna kill? Like hundred and fifty melee creeps if you're a carry in the whole game. In the whole game. To yeah, maybe two hundred. So it's like probably about that. Two hundred gold. <laughs> Gracious. All right. Game oh my goodness. <laughs> Oof. That's right. Okay. Randoming now gives fairy fire instead of branch. I love this personally. Not that like I'm a that. big randomer, but you know. Nice to see. Fairy fire is not getting picked up that much lately. So yeah, exactly. I like I like that. I mean, it's it's nice to have a fairy fire, but you don't kind of want you don't really want to buy one. It's like an off laner. If you have a fairy fire, you can you can use it to survive like one la one last auto attack, uh, where they would kill you if they're diving your tower or something. And having mm -hmm. the fairy fire is like really nice for that. But you never want to buy one because you just want more effective stuff. You know, you you want to you want your boots in, faster, which are now five hundred gold. Right. You want to read. How dare you spoil things, Carl? <laughs> Dude, don't do that. They can't. There's a lot of good ones. Little they nuggets can't read in there. What's on the screen. They they go slowly with us each line. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. They're bonus hero ahead. count increased. I'm just lying. It's actually all on the screen. Uh, bonus hero <laughs> count increased from ten to twelve. Why would they do this? Like, sometimes you get really screwed with the random hero pool. You get like techies and meepo yeah. in the same pool. I don't know. <laughs> 
people aren't randoming as much nowadays. I guess. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think that's going to help people because I don't think that you might get two more that you like, but there's also a chance you get two more shitty ones. Yeah, twelve isn't that isn't that. Well, it's not just randoming though, right? You can pick these heroes and get a mango. So oh, that's oh, two that's extra right. heroes. Now. Okay, so these are the bonus heroes. The randoming is something different. Okay, yeah. so. Well, that's that's interesting. Okay, I kind of like that. So, because if you get a mango on on you know like let's say Sunspan, you got Pangolier, and you could get a mango mm. from Pangolier. How much Ooh. would that that would help? That would help you a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's not bad. It's not. I bad. mean, actually, what is it? Two hundred mana now. It gives you like so much mana. It's not bad. Yeah, it's or you just hang on to it and finish your wand. You could do that, yeah. But um, I mean, uh, yeah, there's. Just, I think I think that's I think that's great for for pubs. I mean. You... All right. So pre, we do we do have some item changes, which is actually a very short list, surprisingly enough. Eon disc cooldown reduced by 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, just stop me if you think anything's super interesting. Boots of speed cost increased to 500 from 400. This is the original price, by the way, from Dota 1, like way back. It was maybe even Dota 2, it started with 500 as well. I'm not sure. But I, mean, I think it was 500, it, but it was more movement speed. Wasn't it 55? Oh, it was definitely more movement speed than before. Yeah. But that's another yeah. thing. Yeah. Movement speed now increased from 40 to 50. So. And then slowing everybody down. I'm mm -hmm. glad they're now they're speeding they're up. Finally speeding things up. I love moving fast. It, we were talking about that the other day. The utility of moving fast. I is love to way move undervalued. Fast. <laughs> is it imagine. really undervalued though? I don't know. All right, maybe a lot of people like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think <everybody laughs> maybe it's perfectly valued because everyone goes for it. <laughs> I think it's becoming more valued. I, I think mm -hmm. I think over the past couple of months we've seen it. Everybody's going for the move. It, man, people are even going for the movement speed talent on Beastmaster. Versus twenty five percent XP gain on a hero that split farms so much, like people are oh, not not to. Well, that's a that's the other thing though. We're we're gonna get to this, and I don't want to forget about it because uh, it might get lost. But a lot of the movement talents have been removed. Not all of them, but a good amount of them have been removed. And I think that's gonna be a trend going oh. forward. So this kind of makes up for it to some degree. But to finish off this line, phase boots and power treads up to fifty as well. So. Boots of speed are the same speed as treads and phase boots without the activation right. phase. Obviously. Oh, that's a really good Which point. Which is interesting. Actually. That that is interesting, because I I know I mean part of the reason that people would upgrade to to power treads was that that bonus movement speed because it's <clears throat> I mean it's it is it's noticeable honestly it, it it is noticeable that that movement speed difference especially if you're playing a hero like Nakes or something like some hero that gets kited that that little bit of extra movement speed can give you one extra auto attack. So yeah, I mean, a lot more heroes can be greedy now and just go for the. Go you for, hang on to it, go for moments. travel. Yeah, you could go for travel, and people like people like doing that before anyway. It's just that you'd be so damn slow. Mm -hmm. But if you pick up a boots of speed plus a wind lace, like you're actually gonna be pretty fast now. Tranquil boots would give you. I mean, they they didn't change tranquils, right? Tranquil boots give you sixty mm. movement speed. So so tra this is a tranquil nerf because the reason tranquils was good was really good in this patch was because you would have you'd choose between forty movement speed or sixty, right? Mm. The tranquil, it's one slot. The tranquil, even if you get hit, it's 60 movement speed. If you're not hit, it's 90. But now there's a 10 movement speed difference between tranquils or treads. Like, I don't, I'm not actually sure why you would go for, for tranquils for, for the movement speed. Anyway. Very specific heroes now. People that want to regen real quick, that's it. Yeah, if, if you want to regen, that's, that's kind of. Jenkins, kinda you it. played Han as well, right? I know Carlo did. No, I, I was a Han. Oh, guy. Jenkins Han did not. Boy. Oh, okay. You remember the, you remember, uh, oh, what were those boots called? 300 arcane? gold. Not arcane. They were, uh, the, um, the, they were first supports, usually or gankers, and they made you extremely fast. I know what they look like. They somebody. had like a little swoosh. They look like Nikes. Yeah. Google? yeah. So I, her, I, I was hoping that Tranquils would end up being something like that. But uh, yeah, I think that, that you're right. It is a definite nerf to it. Of course, you do get the healing aspect if you're not hit by uh, anything but physical yeah, damage. You do, but I, I'm kind of thinking about like Axe. Like on Axe, you're going to get hit because you're you know spinning the creep way, but the 60 movement speed was still great for... for kind of closing the gap on people but now it's like oh, what the hell it's, it's 10 movement speed who cares yeah that's true boots of travel though even even more value but uh because oh, yeah. all right this is going to bother me the whole video carlo can you look it up i'm looking these freaking boots duck boots. it's on the tip of my tongue what not duck boots it was uh these item names oh so fun fact about me i mix up Probably twenty five percent of my Dota names with Han names, <laughs> and That's Mott okay. did not play Dota, so I'll say something and he'll just kind <laughs> of give me a look like, "What the yeah. fuck yeah, are you talking about?" <laughs> and I'm like, you know, oh, this, this you know name? this item, you know, Quick Blade, and he'll be like, "I don't know what a Quick Blade is." All right, we're gonna keep moving on. You keep looking that up until okay. you just interrupt me. So, Animal Courier, Flying Courier, movement speed increased by ten from four fifty to four sixty. Wow. Marginal there change. Seems Driders a random. Was the name of the boots. Striders. Oh my god. Yes. Those are so good. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, just look it up. I wish those were tranquil boots. That's what I wish. 
Because you can pick that up on Gankers and put it on all supports, Oops. basically. But uh, Okay, Monkey King Bar added a sound for successful procs. I have not heard this yet. Have you guys? No, I, have not, I, I have not listened to it. You know, I, I, I kind of miss the old Monkey King Bar proc sound. Like, I, I, I wish that, I, I always wish, that, I'm actually glad they added this because it was pretty satisfying. I don't remember that. ever having a sound, did it? It did. It was, it was like a bash noise, like a mini bash oh. noise. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm just I'm, a I'm sucker for the sound effects. <laughs> I like sound effects too, dude. Like when you stack a Something creep like pack and somebody kills it. Yeah. It's a great oh, that, that's satisfying. Like, I forget I stack a camp because I never stack camps anyway. I'm on the other side of the map and I hear gold. I'm like, what? Yes. I just got gold. I'm winning. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I love that. I, I don't stack camps and I hear that noise. Like, oh, I guess I stack <laughs> something by accident. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then last, uh, the last item change Soul Ring health cost increased by 20. Okay. God, they, they, they keep nerfing this item. I mean, it's. Yeah. That's an offlaner nerf. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people going for just drums and then going for a wand and ignoring the soul ring now. Really? Just because the drums I don't gives know. you like an inadequate amount of mana. Mm -hmm. Offlane just but, feels miserable to play right now. Already yeah, before this patch. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. Before this patch. That's this it, guy. Yeah, I, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Okay, so the we have a lot of talent changes to go through. I, I would like to say, I know Valve doesn't watch these videos, but if they did, if anybody had contact with Valve... Could they please make this prettier to look at? I, I miss the old passions where at least there's some style involved. These are, this is just text. It is brutal. broken down by hero with like a little title and underline yes, or something. I, like I that. want yeah, a you hero could write, icon. You could write a script you know? pretty easily that would format it like that. Yes, but it's I'm not going to spend the time to do that. I'll do you know? it, dude. I'll... Okay, you do it, Jenkins. We'll give you credit. I got uh, you. Dude. Okay, we'll Abaddon. Three talent changes. So level 15 talent increase from 50 miscoil heal slash damage to 60. So small increase. Level 20, 15% cooldown reduction is up to 20% now. And at 25, the Aphotic Shield was nerfed from 250 to 225. Thoughts, if any? I think I think this is a, an all-around buff. I mean, that 20% that cooldown reduction is ridiculous. The, the, the ultimate, having that cooldown reduced is... I mean, the downtime on it is like... I don't know. Once you get an Octarine Core, the downtime... I don't know what the actual math is, but it's it, it really feels like it's only a few seconds where he does not have mm -hmm. his ultimate. Like, you can fight constantly on Abaddon, and he's always going to have his ultimate up. And that was a 15% cooldown reduction, 20%. I mean, that's a 5% increase. That's pretty significant. And all of his spells are, are kind of at that nice threshold where they have a long enough cooldown that the cooldown reduction actually takes like one or two seconds off of them. But you actually feel it. You actually feel it, but they're short enough cooldown that he's spammy. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's. I mean, I, I think I think that's like a perfect uh, talent for, for a hero like Abaddon. And he has the XP gain talent. So when you see a hero get talent changes that has an XP gain talent, it's not just like, oh, they'll never get to level 20. I mean, Abaddon gets to level 20 every single game because mm -hmm. he has the XP gain talent. Right. So, yeah, I mean, these these are definitely buffs to Abaddon. And level 25, I mean, the 250 Aphotic Shield, that, that was already, I mean, that was a lot before. So. I mean, if you remember, the before at least 25 talents were really good when they first introduced, there were a couple of them that were really good. I think the best one in the game was Abaddon's. It was 300, I think, at the time. So he's yeah. he's been nerfed not only from the number aspect, but also from the aspect that... A lot of heroes have really, really good level twenty-five talents now. But yeah, that is true. It's still really strong. It's okay. still it's still pretty good. Alchemist, I missed this here. I want him more. Vici Gaming apparently plays him. Level twenty talent increased from twenty-five percent cleave to thirty percent. Small buff, not I bad. I mean, that's a small buff. I like Alchemist in general. I think if you get a meteor hammer, you can. Oh my, uh, what the? Fuck? You're a bi he's a big meteor hammer God fan. Damn it, dude. Dude, I swear to God, were, were you in that pub where that guy was? Uh, oh man. Oh, maybe maybe that wasn't with you guys, but. I was in a pub and this guy was using his uh, Alk stun on me and then meteor hammering me and then Alk stun is up again after the meteor hammer is done. Oh, it's like, dude, I guess that's are true. you kidding? <laughs> so if he's gonna solo you, he can do it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He can actually solo you. It's ri <laughs> it's, ri it's ridiculous. I mean, 30 30 percent cleave doesn't really affect that sort of thing. I, I don't think unless you transition into some sort of semi carry. But I just mm -hmm. think Alchemist is pretty good. Well, I mean, Concoction has been buffed so many freaking times too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you seeing playing a little bit more support Alk now? I think so. I, I think so. I don't is, know. Is this that, cleave that, won't really matter for that. But not really. Is that what Vici plays plays him as support? I I don't think so. Well, I don't, mm, I wanted to watch the game, but I forgot all about it until I just mentioned it. So I need to go back oh. and watch. But I know he gave ags to everybody, so I assume it was a farming out. Oh. Okay. Well, at the very uh, least, I think I think if you have a hero that's versatile, it makes it a lot more pickable. Yeah. Ancient Apparitionu level twenty five or level fifteen talent increased from one point five second down. Uh, the Vortex cooldown to 2.5 seconds, and then level 25 talent changed from four charges of cold feet, which I thought was garbage, to 900 AoE cold feet. Interesting. That's pretty big. That's a good one. I, I, I like that change. I mean, although it's level 25, when does an HR operation really get to level All 25? All the time. <laughs> that just doesn't happen. He's getting blown up at that point. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rare. So I think, I think AA is probably going to be about the same. 
be yeah. honest. Agreed. I actually missed the uh, the vortex zoom, the move speed increase that they Ooh. got rid of. They got rid of that. Okay, now now I'm doubting myself. Go check it, Carlo. Check it quick. I, think, I thought they I got that, rid of that. I don't know. Maybe because I, I mean, remember they saying, it, they "Oh, they got rid patches. of that." I never even noticed that it even did that. Like you never really notice it in game. I, I, it, it's like a percentage increase. So if you get like tranquils and stuff, it it works based on your current movement speed. Hmm. Let's see. Scroll to the up, up, up. Uh, up, 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 up. The, up, 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 up. There, there. Ice vortex. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, it do, it does increase. It 30%. still does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did did he have a talent that increased it before? What yes, am I... I think so. Okay, so that's he what he did. It, it was. I I saw it at the bottom there. There was they, a talent. Yeah. Okay. There is a talent. All right, moving on. Anti mage level ten talent changed from one seventy five health to ten strength. So what is that? Two hundred health and a that's little bit more m- more status resistance. Not bad. Uh, status harder to lock status him down. resist only applies to strength heroes. Oh, that's true. For him. Yep, that's but true. But he gets more. He gets more regen. Like your your HP regen scales based on your strength. So the battle fury regen, he's gonna have more regen because of the strength. Whereas the one hundred seventy five health would literally give him no regen. Period. Right. So th- th- I mean, it's it's way better, and it's just straight up more more HP because it's I'm 20, not liking so. these changes, by the way. <laughs> I, I don't want to see more anti mages. Not that he's really relevant in the pro scene, but in the pub scene, you know, at my he's, level at least. I I, I think he, I honestly think with these talents, he's probably pretty good. So just to I finish remember. him off, level 15 talent, minus two second blink cooldown has now been changed to a level 20 talent, which is minus 2.5 seconds. And the blink cast range, which was plus 300 at 20, is now 400 at level 15, which mm. is pretty nice. Which will blow a 15 one. I mean, will people do that or just get the 15 agility? Uh, I think I think honestly, I mean, there's like, there's like two trains of thought on anti-mage. I'm pretty sure... But I'm pretty sure most people were, were leaning towards going for the the blink cast range and cooldown just because the the previous nerfs to anti mage mm-hmm. were basically nerfing the cast range and the blink cooldown. Uh, so now both of them are higher, and I think I think I, I remember hearing anti mage players complain about the the blink cast range. Like it's just it's just too easy to kill him. Yeah. And now you have that four hundred is pretty at, big at level fifteen. Yeah, and then at level twenty it didn't matter because you were so you were so damn tanky mm-hmm. and, and farmed. So. Yeah, I mean, four hundred. That's that's huge. That is massive. So Which I think, level uh, is the the illusion one? Where he that's also illusion. twenty. So you have to choose 20. the yeah. blink cooldown or the illusion. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think hmm. I think people were choosing the cast range at twenty over the illusion, and the illusion was considered to be really good just because the blink cast range was so mm-hmm. was was so big mm-hmm. because they had nerfed it. So now he gets this a lot earlier, and people okay. were choosing it over the the illusion, and the illusion's like super good. Right. Okay, Arc Warden level ten talent changed from plus five armor to eight percent cooldown reduction. Fifteen talent from plus two second flux duration to three. Level twenty talent increased one hundred attack range to one twenty five. I hate this hero, by the way. Level twenty talent changed from ten percent cooldown reduction to minus one point five second spark rate cooldown. So the thing that jumps out to me is that he had a ten percent cooldown reduction talent at twenty, which is basically now there at ten, with only two percent missing. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I, I mean, people. It feels like a big buff. I don't know though. People didn't go for the cooldown reduction talent. I think there was also an attack range. Yeah, at level twenty, there's an attack range talent. People would go for the attack range talent instead. Like I think, I think ten percent cooldown reduction. You, you would think on Arc Warden it would be really good, but his cooldowns are kind of at the point where a cooldown reduction of that's that small doesn't really affect how much you can use the the. Doppelganger, the ult- the ultimate, mm. or whatever. It's Doppelganger, called. Tempest whatever, yeah. Double. How dare you? Tempest Double. <laughs> I I just I I never saw any ancient or uh, Arc Warden players actually picking that up. They would they would basically opt for something else because he's kind of like a right clicker. He's not really. Yeah. You see him usually build the attack speed, attack range. Yeah, yeah. He's they usually build him as kind of this like this, maybe life steal. Like, this carry kind of hero rather than this. I'm gonna like send out a bunch of illusions because I have a bunch of cooldown reduction. Like nobody builds right. an Octarine Course, nobody cares about cooldown reduction on that hero. Although you'd think because of all the all the items, but but most of those players were just like, I want as much damage as possible so that when I do use that, uh, when I do use that Tempest Double, it's gonna do as much damage as you know as it can in a team fight. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And eight percent's really small too. So I don't know. I don't know about that hero, man. I think I think that hero is kind of bad still. Well, we'll still see those teams pick him up every now and then as a cheese. I feel like that's what he is as a cheese hero, like a fourth yeah. or fifth pick. Mm-hmm. Um, if yeah. no one can counter him, he'll just melt you. Yeah, pretty much. I feel, okay. I feel like with that hero, though, it's like he needs so much 
he needs so much babysitting and so much farm. And then by the time he comes online, you'd just rather have like a jugger, gyro. Any of these other heroes are going to carry harder than he does, but he needs so much space. Like kind of like an invoker, how invoker is right now. It's like he needs so mm. much space, but you could just have some other like crazy hero in the mid lane, like SF that's going to run around one hitting people. Mm. You know, it's like it just it, it's it's too it's too little, too late that these heroes provide. I think. Maybe well, a there split push becomes changes more. That we won't talk about yet because I can't jump ahead. Oh, oh, good, Ooh. good catch oh, there, buddy. Yeah. Axe level fifteen talent increase from thirty move speed to four. This hero feels like a piece of shit. Uh, I really want the attack speed slash uh, counter helix procs when attacking to be good. It just feels I know. god awful. God fucking It seems awful. like so much fun. I play it it's in demo awful. mode all the time, and I just destroy things. Do you know that the <laughs> cooldown? The cooldown is based on. Uh, it's it's okay. The the attack the attack one you know the counter helix that you can get it has, shares the same cooldown as the one of getting attacked. So like the same timer. So, that so doesn't you, make so sense. So you taunt somebody, you're gonna be spinning on cool, off cooldown anyway. Like what's the point? Yeah. What is the point? You're not gonna spin anymore. Yeah, they need it's, to they need to change that. They mm -hmm. they do. I like the idea though. It's cool. Yeah. You can build a right right clicker I axe. Mean, that's the thing. Like as bad as I know it is, I still get those talents every. Day. <laughs> Because why? I want it to work. I'm like, Ice Frog put this in for a reason. I I'm going to figure out why. But I, still I think it's <laughs> when you're farming camps and the little creeps die too quickly and you got that one okay, big fat fair. one sitting there yeah. and you're poking it and spinning. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I, you know, that would that's it. That's the only, if, only if, use case. If that jungling was actually a thing again. Because, I mean, Axe used to be one of the best junglers in the game as far as farming. Yeah, I mean, that's inside. true. That and that's garbage. granted at level 20 as well. He's still juggling because he really wants to hit that <laughs> level 25. <laughs> you're going to be juggling like centaurs. It's like, yes, I'm getting one extra spin. That's when you your could, team yells at you and you get reported. You could make that a level 10 talent. It probably wouldn't make any difference for this hero, I feel like. Maybe juggling would be easier, <laughs> but like in fights, it makes no difference. It really know. wouldn't. <laughs> Sad days for Axe players. Bloodseeker Blood Rage now heals you for 50% of his value if you do not get the last hit but are within 300 AOE of the dying hero. That's a big deal. Very that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's a big yeah. deal. I think this is I uh, think sorry. This is a quality of life thing that's been should have been put in since Dota one. I feel like I kind of agree. I mean, I think I think there's the thing with that hero is though, like the the way that you the way that you lane against that hero in Dota is that you you make it so that you're putting on so much pressure that if he walks up to get a last hit, you'll do more damage than he gets from healing. Mm -hmm. You just right? abuse him. You abuse him. But uh, so so sometimes blood seekers will kind of sit. They'll certainly sit within within the range here. Like I mean, they'll, they'll, it's it's a it's literally a perfect amount of range for the Bloodseeker to sit there and heal up. Then he can come back in where he's not in that kind of kill threshold range. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this is actually a huge buff to Bloodseeker because because it's only heroes though. Uh, lots of winning. Oh, but dying hero. Okay, you're right. Right. Okay. But so. it's not bad. You know, if you're in a team fight and you're chasing down one person and you have I mean, blood rage on yourself and someone dies actually, around I, I, you. I think I completely misread that. But it it is it is uh I mean that is good in a team fight cuz cuz I mean hero HP is a lot more than creep HP. Mm -hmm. I mean that, it's it's it, that, that's a it's a huge amount of HP gain. So if you have like a radiance and you're running around burning people somebody else gets the kill. If Zeus last hits it yeah, because you're, it's you're fun. St you're still going to get a bunch of a bunch of H HP. Although because that's a lot less fun. than what I was thinking, so. It's fun to last hit heroes. <laughs> I uh, need the experience. Centaur, level 20 talent, increased from 250 double-edged damage to 300. Fuck this hero. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Buff know. his fucking stun already. It's a piece of shit. This hero sucks. That's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. You can stun once, and then you don't have mana for another one until like exactly. level five or something. So stupid. I mean, when he was really strong, it was because of the mana cost was different with double or with uh, hoof stomp. Plus, his return worked on fucking tower illusions, right? You can't get rid of both. Give him something. Give this guy something to fuck with. What, what, did, what did it cost before again? Was it 75 or 80 mana? Uh, it was something super cheap. It was a combination of that, and I think they, they lowered his int as well. Because oh, he, yeah. he got the nerf hammer real hard. Oh one my patch. god, did he ever. Remember when his ulti stunned? Oh, I, b believe, I, I, when that stunned, I was sixth on Dota buff for Centaur <laughs> players. That, that was a good skill. <laughs> nice, nice. No, not so much. But no, yeah. it's still a really good ult. Yeah. It is. The, the Axe has gotten nerfed so much, too. Anyway, that's not really... From 60 to 40. Yeah, I can talk about Centaur all day. Anyway, Clink's Strafe Projectile Dodge Count increased from 3 to 4, and the level 15 talent increased from 15% evasion to 20%. Have you guys seen this Projectile Dodge Count, or Projectile Dodge for Strafe? Yeah. It has, does it still right. have no animation? I haven't actually it, checked it, recently. It needs to have an It's hard to it, see it when it happens. I don't think it has anything. It, it's, it's got, the, the kind of lame thing about it is like three or four. Who, who knows? Because you don't know how many that he's dodged already or how many he's going to dodge. No. It's like... It's like okay, I'm just not gonna hit him, <laughs> you know. So three, four, whatever. I think it's not. I think I don't mm -hmm. think it's gonna affect him too much. Makes yeah. him a little beefier. 
which is good. Yeah, a little beefier, but I mean, before it was like, ah, oh, you strafe. All right, see you guys later. I'm just I think the biggest deal with him, and again, I'm, I might get my patches mixed up here, but uh, his ult, you can now have 100% uptime or something, or close to it, I believe, right? I think so. Yeah, I, I, th I think so. You don't have right. to like leave it's... the battle just to go eat a creep necessarily every time. Or I think it now effect. it's pretty close. It it's lasts so sixty-five duration, eighty-five cooldown. Right. It, it okay. It has a lo much longer cooldown, but lasts super long now. So yeah, if you yeah. eat okay. a creep, you, you you know you can fight in the next like sixty seconds. Yeah, basically. that's right. Which is way okay. better. Crystal Maiden level ten talent increased from two hundred HP to two hundred fifty, and level fifteen talent increased from ninety gold per minute to one twenty. Bonus. I mean, that's good GPM. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Darkseer level twenty talent increased from three hundred AOE surge to four hundred. Has anybody ever picked this up? What's the other one? What's the other uh, alternative to this? Because the level twenty-five is the the parallel. Parallel, is it parallel? walls. It's not perpendicular. It should be perpendicular, but it's parallel it be, walls. It should be perpendicular. Yeah, but it. it, it perpendicular say, walls. Does it say parallel walls actually? It says. It says parallel wall. All right, you're right. It should be perpendicular. <laughs> That's triggering. Uh, is it two next to each other? Or is it crisscross? No, no, sure no. It no parallel is correct. That's what it does. I'm saying the skill should oh, be two? this. Perpendicular oh, would be not, cool. It's not like that. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, the, maybe the they could do perpendicular and make like, it this spin. Is it's just. It's really. Bad. And then it's like one of those revolving doors that <laughs> people get hit on. That would be sweet. Yeah. yeah, and then it's just illusions everywhere. Those people get wrecked. Dark I know. The people the, get caught in those and stuff. The right, they'll turn into like oh, you have all five heroes trying to go in a circle around it while it's spinning, you and then one time, person gets stuck. You know how many times at like hotels where those aren't working? People, people just get their. Dude, those things are scary. I you actually don't get scared. I, I use I just use the side door every time. That's a, yeah. it's ditto. There's because the automatic ones are the most terrifying because you have to go at their pace. It's not you pushing. Exactly. I'm not gonna risk my so life. They go fast sometimes. Well, I think the other one's scary because you're somebody's behind you. Then you you get fucked if they're strong. You know. Yep. If, if oh, it's like you God, behind that's... me, Carlo, you beat the shit out of me. I don't know. <laughs> Ezra, I'll push. I'll push through, or I can trap you in there. What? I'll go through first and then put my foot <laughs> on it and hold it, and then you can't get out. And if, if you're claustrophobic, pushing, you're gonna cry. What if they're pushing hard and then to counteract that, you put you're like, okay, I'll push hard, but then you push so hard that they, they keep they push hard, and there's just like infinite loop of just Ooh. you're just stuck in the door. I think you throw up at that point. That's yeah, something like that. that. Anyway, what what did we decide on the dark here? What was the other talent for? It oh, is three hundred AOE surge or a fifteen percent cooldown reduction, oh, okay. which is pretty good for Darkseer. Yeah. He, he's I also feel like, like at the Abaddon threshold. This okay. AOE surge just sounds so cool. I don't know if it is good though. You know, I've used it. I used it in like a competitive game ages ago, and it's did you win? Pretty good. Did you it's win? Just... AOE God, are you kidding me? Of course. Not. <laughs> that could be yeah. interesting. <laughs> I don't know. It's, we'll it, see. It's interesting. Like, it lasts what seven? So seven point five seconds at max level. If you all group up and run at somebody, it's that just, could be a lot of fun. It's, it's like a stampede though, it's almost. Like, it's like, yeah. all right, guys, group up for surge. It's like, what do you oh. get, do? Get work fighting. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it's like it, it's just a weird thing to group up for surge. You yeah. know, it's just convenient if you hit if you hit an extra person with it. Oh, whoop de do, great! Another guy surge. Mm -hmm. that, that's about it. I don't think you group up for surge. It's just, Unless you're gonna like group smoke surge kill. Yeah, but surge it doesn't last. There's very enough. specific scenarios we're talking about, but I like them. I like it too. I agree, Carl. Next is dazzle base movement speed increased by 5 and the level 20 talent increased from 30 poison touch DPS to 45. That's mm -hmm. that's quite a big increase. That's pretty sweet. Dazzle with the with the new boots too, he's going to be pretty speedy. I think I think movement speed like Carlo was saying, I think it's um people are kind of respecting it a lot more. Mm -hmm. and, but so on dazzle, would you pick at level 20 the Poison touch damage or 50 movement speed? Probably movement speed, to be honest. The 50 is a lot! Because the, the poison touch isn't really... You're not going to be poison touching people to death at level, at level 20 on Dazzle. Like, you're going to be... No, you're going to really... be graving people and trying to keep good positioning, which movement speed is perfect for. Mm -hmm. Now he has more base movement speed. The great thing about the base movement speed is that he runs after people hitting them in the in, in the laning phase with his, uh, with his poison All touch. All right. It's true. Imagine so, this possibility, hurt. okay? You got... You got Darkseer with that AoE okay. surge... Yep. And you got Dazzle with Ags, the AoE Shallow Grave. Ooh. You're literally the fastest you can be in the game. You can't plus die. unkillable unless there's an Axe. This sounds like but, a new meta. But but we know Axe isn't going to get picked <laughs> because the attack counter healing Exactly. Sucks. Even better because he's a shit hero. No yeah. counters. So basically, you're saying that the Dazzle Darks here combo is going to be literally broken until Axe gets fixed. Yes. <laughs> All right, I got you. Huh? Only solution. That's the only solution. Because then Axe goes in, he's hitting people, he's spinning, he's chopping down wood. It's awesome. Right, right. Chopping down wood. Tell you what, base intelligence for Doom increased by two, and a level Finally. 10 talent changed from, instead of 25 movement speed, which is now deleted from the game, it's 16% scorched earth movement speed. 
Offlaner. What do you think? Is this even an offlane hero anymore? It's more like a four these days, if anything. Yeah, no, I think I think it's an offlane hero. I, I think it's uh it's really good against tiny carry. That's that's mm. when I really like to pick it because you can just you can just run after him and the doom is enough duration. Even I'm not sure if status resist works on doom. It doesn't even matter because it would still last like long enough to kill him with the uh, with the infernal blade. But but yeah, no, I th I think I think this is pretty sweet. Although the the kind of lame thing is that you're choosing between this or the HP regen. And uh, the HP regen was so it is so good because it scales with strength. So while it says like ten, and you're like, oh, 10, that's nothing. With his strength at level ten, it it gives you like plus twenty or something like that. And then as the game goes on, which that, is significant at level ten too. Oh yeah, that no, it's super significant at level ten, but it's also super significant as the game goes on because it scales with your strength. So it's it's kind of, this is kind of a weird change because you're choosing between like a really good talent and this kind of new talent, which. I still kind of feel like the HP regen, just because it scales like that, is still going to be better. Wait, what, what is the I HP really, regen? I really like that what are the numbers on that? Is it just 16% as well? Uh, of of uh, regen? Yeah, isn't it the scorched... Is it Are both of them scorched earth related? Or is it, the other one just actually so. is HP regen? I think so. Yeah, it's, 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 scorched earth plus, plus 10. Yeah, it gives you 10 plus more 10. on scorched And damage, too. 10, oh, yeah, and damage. Plus 10 well, heal, plus 10 damage. The damage isn't as big of a deal because it doesn't scale mm. with your strength. So the damage is kind of negligible. But the, the, the HP regen is pretty it's mm. pretty serious stuff. Okay. Why Doom's so tanky? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's like man, well, how's this guy regening so much? It's because it's, those numbers are like, it, it, you double or triple them, and that's actually the regen he gets. All right, pretty Dragonite nice. agility gain reduced by 0. 0.2. And the level 10 okay. challenge, this is, I'm very sad about, by the way. The level 10 talent changed from 30 attack speed to... Minus 20% breathe fire damage reduction. Uh, I'm sad. I honestly feel like that's kind of good, dude. I'm sad. It goes from 25% to 45%. Dude. That's not bad. I I'm sad. I honestly feel like... Dude, I feel like breathe fires... That damage reduction is pretty underrated. Have you been like... Have you ever played Tiny and you're saying it's Dragonite and he, he breathes uh, fires on you and you just hit for nothing? Well, the, so the it's not a bad anti-carry kind of kind of build. Yeah, the, the good thing about Breathe Fire now, it's not based on their base damage anymore either. So it's oh, not yeah, just... It's, it's, so it's, it's total. It's total damage now, um, which is great. It's just that I, I felt like the thing... The way that I like to play Dragon, Not that I'm a pro or anything, but I like to play Dragonite as this carry type. You know, he obviously pushes early and whatnot, but... You need attack speed and you need damage, and he has both of those in talents. Now he only has one of those in talents, so it right. makes me a little bit sad. So now you gotta, you pretty much have to get armlet. I feel like maybe uh, yeah. to get that attack speed, which I don't really yeah, typically like getting, but I could see that. I mean, it was pretty good on him before too, could, because you have the regen to back up the the damage or the the HP steal. Yeah, but yeah, it's I, I mean, I, I completely agree with you. I think I think most Dragon Knight players. Um, Say that the hero's good because it scales now due to the talents. So yeah, they they literally took away that scaling because at level you scale because you get that thirty attack speed at level ten. You farm quicker. You can farm he's agent. so slow. He walks slow. He attacks he's slow. He's slow, a yeah. big slow dragon. He needs an Aghanim scepter, guys. Ooh, I've what, told you what about sort this. What of are you thinking? I've I've said this in almost every single patch analysis video for the past four years. Not even kidding. <laughs> Aghanims gives him permanent dragon form. Ice frog, put this the fuck in already. Holy shit. Ooh. He needs it. If you're gonna buy an Ags, come on. I, mean, I buy Ags on him anyway. He doesn't even do anything. So just you no, know, add a little something, something. Why not? Mm. I, I like it. So good. That'd be so damn good. So it's funny or because some dragon knight himself it's... rides a dragon. He no longer turns into <laughs> one. And if you're in melee range, he can attack you, and the dragon Ooh. can eat you. Yeah, that sounds basically good. double damage. That double it. Literally <laughs> perfect. You know. That well, but it's not. Really yeah, that's actually interesting because it's double damage, but only if they're in melee form. Only melee range. melee range. That's and think of how cool it would look. It's a guy on a dragon. That sounds like a lot of work for Valsu. That means that's never going to happen. Uh, the hero would be humongous at that point. Yeah. Or that, the guy dude, would be very legit. small. That sounds legit. I like it. Uh, okay. Drow Ranger level 15 talent increased from 400 gusts. Distance knocked back to 550. That is huge. And the level that's 20 talent knockout. increased from two second gusts to three. Dude, they just they want this hero to be such a... I like Drow. Drow's fun. It's so weird. The talents, they're, they're just... None of the talents are, like, carry-related. They just want this hero to be OP because of the gust. Mm -hmm. It's it's just such a weird... What they're doing with this hero is... It's interesting. I, you, can, you can see what they're trying to do with this. It's very obvious. They're trying to make this, like... This weird carry-silencing hybrid hero utility. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like... If, I mean... Is it because she's too easy to kill otherwise? So you have to rely on a really strong gust? I mean, I, I guess so, but... But, I mean, I think a big reason this hero would get picked is just if she had, like, plus 15, like, very simple carry talents, you know. Mm. So they're just going with these weird ones, but pushing them to such extremes that I think when she does get picked, she's going to be, 
like Gus is going to send you halfway across the map. And last <laughs> it could, it takes you back to the well. It's so only get hit with Gust or you're going home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like permanent. It's a new glimpse. Like a AOE glimpse. I like it. Why not? <laughs> That's the new Drow eggs. If you get hit with Gust, it takes you all the way home. Because nobody's going to pick Drow until you get some like Agi talent or something like well, that. Well, I think it's not for carry. I think you're right. Like, ridiculous. You're right on all accounts. And I think the one thing you're missing, though, is it also makes her more interesting, right? Because. They're trying to cater to new players. I mean, Drow is such a boring fucking hero. Let's be real. Oh, God, yeah. It's like <laughs> Can very, you right-click and stay away from people? It's very black and white. You need to be this far away from somebody. You do a lot of damage. If you're far away from them, everybody else does a ton of damage. This makes it a little bit more interesting, I feel like. Right. But no, I we'll like see. it. I definitely like it. It's it's just... It's gonna get out of hand. You can you can see it Oh, coming, it, it, you know? Yeah. I mean, Ice Frog's done this many a time, right? So it's not like this is a, a crazy prediction. I think you're exactly right. Right. Uh, Ember Spirit, slight of fist bonus hero damage increased by a little bit at the early stages and 20 at level 4. Okay, this hero's... They, they keep buffing that. They, they really do? want the Battle Fury build to be a thing again. I don't know why. That was the worst time in Dota, other than yeah, the sniper, awful. sniper <laughs> troll. Jesus. Okay, Enchantress Nature's Attendance mana cost increased by 15. Okay, Gyrocopter, improved visual effect for flat cannon projectiles. Have you guys seen this? Looks pretty cool. No. Yeah. What's it look like? It's it's extremely obvious with each strain. Is that what it's called? A st no. It almost looks like a strain, but each bullet path, you can see the whole path. So it's Ooh. like big fireworks coming out of... Uh, this is my firework impersonation, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I like that. Nice little quality of life change. Homing missile bounty increased by 25, and the cooldown for the homing missile increased at the earlier levels. The slight nerf, which I was saying... If we're going back to a 2 1 2 and he puts his missile on somebody, they run, other person gets more gold. Oh, yeah. Wow more benefit me. for having a 2 1 2. That's a good call. Great uh, call. You know, I, I'm leaning towards uh, dual laning into gyros anyway. So, yeah, that's. that's Fuck him up. Because you, you can't kill the missile if, if you're one person. You just can't. It, just yeah. too, it, it, it takes three hits. Who can hit three times that quickly? Just a sniper at level 25, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's hope they're not doing laning stage at level 25. <laughs> the sniper. longest laning phase ever. <laughs> and so far, level 10 talent, uh, 0.3 second tornado lift time is now increased to 0.5. Uh, level 15 talent, 1.5 second cold snap duration to 2.5 second. That sounds like the most annoying thing in the world. And Cataclysm Sunstrike spawn distances are now closer to each target. So it's from 175 to 250 to 160 to 220. I like okay. that. They were too far. You would never hit anybody with two of them. They're like too far away. Yeah. Okay. These are pretty minor for the most part. I mean, we don't really see invokers, I feel like, at all. Uh, it's a very, it's a hero that's kind of like on this threshold of either being way too OP or just garbage, right? It's very hard to balance. Yeah. Uh, and very annoying to play against, which is probably the bigger deal for the pubbers out there. Like this fucking yes. tornado. Level 25, constantly. Hits for a million snap. damage at level 3. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Yeah, it's one but, of those heroes. They, they either make them like really bad or really... Really bad good? or really good. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Like, he's like, it's hard to balance. It's, hard, it's very hard to balance. There's it's, just it's, so much to it. It's a, it's it's a, a very complex like, hero. Like, they, can't, they can't change his core mechanics without making him boring, but mm -hmm. they can't make them good without making him overpowered. It's just right. weird. It's just I think just because it's inherently a very different hero than everything else. But actually, I don't mind him being overpowered, though, because it, at least he takes a lot of skill, you know? Well, that's, that's the true. thing. Like, from a pro standpoint, when I watch games, I very much appreciate watching Invoker. Playing against him is the most miserable experience ever, especially as goes Quas Wex. Just Cold Snap is... The, Cold Snap and Tornado are probably the two of the five most annoying spells in the entire game, I want to say. And they're on the same fucking hero, so... <laughs> and he has a mana burn too, which is like one of the yes. most yes, annoying. Yes, the mana burn's quite annoying. I wouldn't say it's top five because it does get not, it becomes, doesn't scale well, right, in the super late game. But that and tornado. I, I, I hate, I just, I hate mana burns. I, I have this, I have this like. I know, because I, I, you just need mana. Every hero needs just, mana. I have, have no mana. mana. How about this? We'll put oh, those as the top three out of five okay. most annoying That's good. spells That's in perfect. the game. Okay, we'll That's upgrade perfect. it. Uh, IO tether duration increased by two. Wait, what's the cooldown on that? Is it. It was already 100% uptime, so it's two seconds over. Yeah, so now you have a little bit of a little bit of buffer time, which is okay. great. That's nice. Uh, yeah, 12 uh, second cooldown. Okay. Oh so, yeah, cool. that, that that's that's um interesting quality of life for IO players. Yeah, for sure. Jakiro level 10 talent increased uh, XP from 25 to 30, and a 15 talent increased from 250 attack range to 300. Ooh. So of course, for people that don't know the attack range, it's not 
really about his actual attack. It's more about the liquid fire. That's what it obviously synergizes right. with. Yep. Um, but yeah, which, are, which already has bonus attack range too. So it's right. like, it's so it's so far. Yep. Pretty disgusting. Conka Tiebringer damage increased. Uh, I would say relatively substantially at level four, at least. Not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Remember when this hero was first introduced into Dota 1, I thought this was the most broken spell in the entire game. I couldn't understand how you're supposed to dodge it. Uh, of course, it was more powerful back then as well, yeah. but annoying nonetheless in the laning stage. Leshrac, Lightning Storm, Mana Cost rescaled uh, to be lower at the earlier stages. Not bad. People not bad. don't pick this up at all, I'm pretty sure, they don't. right? Yeah, not at all. Like, the way that I look at it, I don't know if it's still... This is very old mentality, but... You have like this stun that takes forever. Then you have Pulse Nova and Diabolic Edict where you want to be, like it's all about positioning, like where your hero right. is. And then Lightning Storm, you don't want to cast this. You do not want to cast this spell because it just takes forever and it's not a stun, although the yeah. slow is pretty damn good now. It's just a weird skill on this hero, I feel like. They could literally delete that skill and just give him something else. He'd still have the same identity, you know? Give him a passive or yeah, something. Yeah, that is true. I, th I Honestly, I think if he took like almost any other skill in Dota, he'd probably be, most likely be better. Statistically speaking, if you gave him just a random skill. Yeah. Lich, pretty, it's pretty random. Level 25 talent attacks apply 30% movement speed and attack speed slow is now 40%. Not, I mean, okay. Late, super, super late game. He doesn't really get 25 very often, though. Yeah, but the thing is, his other 25 is so much better. It's so much better. It's what is the, it, the ice building? armor, works on buildings. Oh, no, it's the HP regen. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 30 HP regen, I want to say. And Plus it works 30 on HP regen. Oh, my I mean, God, that, that's so ridiculous. That's like, a lot. What game would you ever take this, it's basically a Scotty, over the HP regen, which is oh, so disgusting. Well, you know, if you build the movement speed <laughs> attack Ask damage, attacks, yeah. the gold a minute to build all of your hard carry items, and then you get the movement <laughs> slow, you're just a rail gun of, I of anger. I have a hard time believing you don't lose by that point, but, you know, that's right. to each their own, I guess. Lena, who has been... Non-existent as a hero, I feel like. Oh, it's level my favorite hero. Talent. Too. Okay, damn. good. Yeah, we okay, can see then. what you think about these changes. Then the level ten talent increased from 100 attack or 100 cast range to 125. Uh, the other one increased from 25 damage to 30. Level 15 increased from 300 HP to 350, and level 20 10 percent spell amp to 12. So slight changes. What do you think? Not bad. I mean, you get the cast range. You can be a little bit more of a caster earlier than build into a right clicker later. I mean, it used to be what plus 50 damage or something like that, and then they. Super nerfed it because it was ridiculous. I think they moved it down to 10 or something like that. Yeah, it was a little bit higher. But I mean, it, I don't know. It's. Were you a will spammer? She be good of... and viable now? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard. To TBD. Were you a fan of the, the respawn timer, Carlo? Am I a fan oh, of what? The respawn timer for Lena when that came out. Was it 40 seconds off one? the respawn timer? Were you playing during that patch? It was like minus 40 seconds on respawn time. Oh, I was playing during that time. It was ridiculous. Because you, you do that plus a, a bloodstone and you just, no. you're never dead. You would die and instantly respawn like <laughs> five times. You would literally kill yourself in a fight intentionally. So uh -huh. you just have, because you, you have an Aegis every fight. So then you get boots travel, you come right back in, you're just exactly. killing everybody. Exactly. They should bring that back. Make it yeah, more viable. Why not? Why not? Uh, Lion. Okay, this one's interesting. So. The mana drain slow, which was introduced a couple patches ago, now increased to 25% at level 4. Uh, level 10 talent increased from 75 damage to 90, and the 90 gold permit to 120 for the 15 talent. Let's talk about this slow. It's not bad if you get the level 20 multi-target drain. I think it's just good, period. I mean, it, it just Yeah, but here's, here's the question, though. I think what... It's pretty obvious what they want to, to happen is for lions that are picked in competitive, at least to actually pick up Mana Drain early because, to my knowledge, they do not. Or at least they didn't before this was implemented. It was always Hex with uh, Earth Spike. Does that change this? I think I think before it was like, you would if you, if you went for Tranquil Boots, you would go for the Mana Drain. But since that, that period where Pilot, I was playing the crap of the line and everybody started picking it, then people started going for arcane boots online and just saying screw the mana drain, having like the max hex as early as possible. And people mm -hmm. realize like, oh wow, you can actually be useful. You can actually have a lot of disable on this hero right. but without needing a lot of levels. You just need mana boots. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, th I think I think that helps the um, what's it called, the tranquils build a lot because uh, you you definitely do need the mana and, and 
I mean, 16%, that's, oops, that's, that's, that's not bad. I mean, that, that's basically Pudge Rot slow now. Yeah. Which, uh, oh, Don't God. get ahead of yourself. I, I, How I can't dare you spoil it. things. I can't stop thinking about it. So, you know, it's just haunting my dreams. Oh, I, I expect half this video to be you talking about Pudge when we go over oh. that. Yes. He is in the background. Don't get, that, don't get me. After all. Dude, yeah, I'm not gonna go a sign of things to come. <laughs> Wait, right. is that your Pudge, Jenkins? No, this is Mott's Pudge. All right, it's what does your this. Pudge look like? Do you use any Dota Cinema items? Uh, I think I use the, the Rot. Animation. Okay. That's a good. Whichever boy. one gives the rot animation. Maybe it's the. Gem. But there, there's two different ones that do rot animation now. Unfortunately, we're not there's unique two? anymore. Yeah. Um, Dude, I, I use the black death. The black death. Yeah, one. that's my boy. Yeah, the the bubonic. Valve came out with an arc or not arcana a an immortal that changes the rot. So it's like golden. <clears throat> I think mine's combined with ours, so it's like golden and black. Oh, you combo. can combine them. Oh, God, I could I be wrong. Do I don't know. I, I have to do double that. check. That's cool. I'm 100. If I can do, I'm 100 percent doing that as soon as as soon as. I'll we're done. check. Just remind me. Uh, okay, lion. We already went over lone druid spirit bear health regeneration increased by one at all levels, and level 15 talent increased from minus eight second savage roar to 12 seconds, which is uh, one of the more annoying spells in the game. I still have yet to see the the savage roar, queen of pain scream at level 25 plus. Dark willow. Dark willow. Thank you. I have yet to see that. people back like <laughs> yeah. if you 20 guys seconds worth of walking. Off, if you guys can pull that combo off in a game, I will personally make sure that that gets put into a clip that we put into Dota Cinema as a highlight. Now, is that the ultimate video. Dark Seer AoE speed boost counter? They AoE as a team oh, run in, and then you just fear them back to oblivion. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, we just you. found it out. There you go. Well, there we go. Now we know. We thought it was overpowered. Right? Right? They're running in, unable to die because they have a Dazzle <laughs> on there, too, and yeah. then they just run all the way home. But all I you like need it. is a Willow, uh, Queen of Pain. <laughs> What's the other hero? <laughs> and Alondra. 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 That's not a bad team. <laughs> all right, we got it. That's not bad. Yeah, this could a be worse. It. could be worse. Luna, level 15 talent. Minus three second Lucent Beam is now minus four. Okay. Nobody goes for that. Yeah, like it. What, what was the other one? It's um. It's it's uh, attack damage, I think, on the... Attack damage? Okay. On the Lunar Blessing. Oh, yeah. Plus 24 Lunar Blessing damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lycan well, base damage reduced by three. I thought he was going to get bigger nerf than this. That I wish is... he did. I'm so sick of this hero, man. I'm so sick of offlaning against Lycan. You hit him like 50 times. He's still at full HP. He hits you once you die. Oh, yeah. He gets six. He presses R. He runs at you. You use your haste rune. Realize that you're still 150 movement speed slower than he is. <laughs> if only haste rune stacked with surge. Like, come on. Oh, AoE my God. surge and haste? They should make it haste runes AOE too. You can just run to the enemy base in like two seconds. All right. When well, you haste rune. Run to your own base while getting feared. <laughs> With Meepo, the runes used to be AOE, right? And I don't think they're like that anymore. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they like did. Like he you, picked you up double, double damage, damage, but you're close your by. Oh, that's yeah. silly. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It was so crazy. Magnus, base strength increased by one, and level 25 talent increased from reverse polarity by 0.25 extra seconds to the ends up being one second overall. I mean, that's whatever. A that's all right. It's a it, it, you're you're battling the cleave damage though at twenty five. Like yeah, the cleave you, damage has always been picked up over this. Who would go for a magnus? Percent is a lot. Yeah, I mean, who would go for a magnus pick if you if if you're not gonna build to have somebody cleaving the enemy team down? You know, you're going to have a a, a a carry that's gonna benefit from that. You need like three seconds on reverse polarity to make it. Well, maybe not three, but mathematically, you know, one point five two seconds. Maybe you'll do as much damage. <laughs> With the with the usual cleave, right? Mm -hmm. That's just way more powerful. You can synergize a lot better with it. Oh god, yeah. Unless you yeah, make mag with like an invoker or something. At the same time, I if they increase this past one second, then it starts getting into territory of like that's just stupid, you know? I I agree. Yeah, I think I think it's like maybe this shouldn't even be a talent. They should just think of something else. You I know? think so too. Something more interesting. He gets right. two cleavers or hammers or whatever he holds. Two cleavers. Oh. What does he yeah, hold? It's like it just a, changes like the animation of Magnus. Doesn't do like anything for gameplay. Thing? Yeah, yeah, that'd be sweet. He just holds two I things. Or there's it, it doesn't two actually Magnuses make any. And one of them just doesn't do anything. <laughs> it has no impact on the game itself. It just looks cool. Is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Excellent. I love the changes like Purely that. Purely aesthetic. Marana Starfall mana cost uh, looks like it was decreased, uh, especially at the early levels. And uh -huh. level 25 uh, talent increased from now. minus 70 second shadow cooldown, moonlight shadow cooldown to minus 80. I think you still almost always take the arrows. Throw a multi shot. It's, it's too good. No. Yeah, it's I mean, too good. You you can have permanent invis with an octarine core now, so that, that's silly. That, that could I be mean, interesting, but that is interesting. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I guess you just get a gem, and then who cares? So 
Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't you can't counter the three arrows though. You know. Someone's gonna get hit. The three arrows is pretty good. Although I think the bigger change is the star pull mana cost. Like as an off laner, one of the big issues is like you need soul ring and an a killer and a wand, or you don't have mana to use your star fall. But now, those early levels, you can actually start uh, spamming it out a lot more. And at level, oops, it's not bad. I keep doing that. And at level, uh, at level four, it's five less, which is actually pretty pretty decent. You know, so, it's not bad. But at that point, you have the you know you have the the sustain. To, mm -hmm. to sustain that sort of mana cost. Mm -hmm. So this is this is actually a really a really nice change for Marana. Do you guys miss point. Marana Ags? Do I miss it? Yeah, because nobody picks it up anymore. Uh, I liked it when it first came out. It was people were building the magic know, it, build. And it was interesting. Melting everyone. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Yeah, it went from that into randomly she becomes a really hard carry for a certain period of time, yep. and then now she's just dropped off, right? Yep. Yeah, I think people that do play her now go for the Ags build, but it's nowhere near what it was before. Hmm. It doesn't do anywhere near the amount yeah. of damage or or give you the amount of farming. You just get a Veil before, and you just, everyone dies. Oh, yeah, Veil. You go do Veil Blink. Mm -hmm. You're like Dagon. That's ridiculous. All right, Monkey King base damage increased by two. Fixed Mischief not showing the right particles for the first bounty rune. Oh, I hate when God. that happens. Oh, that's a huge buff. <laughs> That's Those particles buff. are very important. Level 10 talent increased from 150 Tree Dance Vision AoE to 300. The level 15 talent increased from 300 Tree Dance Cast Range to 600. And level 20 talent increased from 300 Primal Spring Damage to 400. So I actually saw a clip of this level 15 talent. It is disgusting. Like you literally go off the screen, especially if you have a an Aether Lens on top of it. I don't know if you'd ever actually oh. that, but like you literally go off the screen. It's crazy. You can't catch this guy. But then you're giving up like the... It, this is an interesting here because it, it's pretty evident that there's one... Like these two different paths you can go down, right? One is where everyone's going to go with, which is like right-click damage and actually being like a carry type hero. The other one is just completely utility ganker, which I haven't seen anybody do. But this... I don't know. This is a huge buff to that line of thinking. So interesting yeah, to see I mean, if people pick it up. I mean, they literally doubled two talents, like doubled. That's that, pretty nuts. That's though. pretty rare that you see a talent getting doubled. Uh, and then, and then the level twenty talent, the primal spring damage, was already a lot. Like I saw a lot of people going for that one, as well. Uh, especially if you're playing with the offlane monkey king. But four hundred. I mean, what does primal spring do now, Max? Like it's gonna do like what seven hundred and sixty damage or something like that? It's, I mean, that, that's that's ridiculous. It kills a whole like wave now, I think. Right with that talent. Three fifty to seven fifty, Max. Yeah, so seven that's a that's a wave easily. That's ridiculous. Uh, that's depending on the time wild. of the game. Yeah, that's one hit, one hits a creep wave. Nice. I mean, that's really, really good Wait, for what's his for, for level twenty, what's his other talent? Uh, it's fifty percent boundless strike crit. Which oh. isn't it, it, that's okay, that seems like a lot because it's he is a carry hero, but fifty I mean that might be like if you're gonna build the right clicker, you go 50 that fifty percent actually isn't that much, especially if you're if, if you're playing like an offlane monkey king. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. I'm biased because I play I mean I play offlane ridiculous heroes, but like, at the 50% crit, it doesn't feel like a lot. Like, really, where your damage is coming from is not from the crit. It's from the ultimate, you know? Mm -hmm. So so going for that, leaping in and getting the primal spring damage is pretty significant because you set up for, a, like, they're going to want to run away because you... you it's like the damage. guaranteed damage. Yeah, ulti, yeah. Like, yeah. you put them to 50% HP, pop your ulti, and, and or, you know, the, the, I mean, it's pretty good. It's The 50% crit's pretty good, but I, I think I think this hero could be played a lot more as a four and not as an offlaner now. And I yeah, because you have so much vision and mobility and everything. Yeah, yeah, and you still do damage with the ultimate. It's like you're not going to do that because you want to go for the Echo Saber, you want to go for Diffusal Blade, these things that do damage that aren't going to be, be benefiting from that crit, mm -hmm. you know? Because they're also the, the low-value kind of um, efficient items that an offlaner or a four-roll would go for, too, you know? So I think, I think that this hero could be played Definitely as an offlaner soon enough. I hope so. Which is kind All of right. fun. It's a fun hero. I, I like this hero, honestly. Yeah, it's Unfortunately, pretty Unfortunately, cool. your bounties will be useless. Oh, yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> Morphling. Morph can now be toggled to go back and forth from the original target until the duration runs out. It has a one-second toggle cooldown. This is a... Seems like a small change, but it is huge. That is a huge change. Nobody uses this ult, especially in competitive. No. Nobody fucking uses this ult. Now, you, know, you can just go back and forth and... Obviously requires a little bit more skill, but I feel like so many people are gonna screw this up in pubs for the next month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like so many yeah. people are gonna morph back to like a twenty percent HP pudge illusion and just die. Because if you <laughs> die of the illusion, you die in the hero. So yeah. yeah, I mean this is gonna be a lot of feeds. The pubs are gonna be just awful for the next couple of days. 
But uh, yeah, I mean that's it, there's so much high skill stuff. I've seen people do really high skill stuff for the ultimate already, and now you can now you can use the cooldowns on you know, go for, back and forth. Yeah. yeah, let's say you get like a spin or something, you can you can stun twice in a fight, switch to morphling, get a pudge, scoot um, around as morph, and then go you, back you to could, it. You could hook twice in a fight if you get pudge. Yeah, that's good around Ooh. as morph. You could waveform on them and then rot them with the pudge, hook, go back to morphling, waveform again, go back yeah. and hook again. Like there's so many there's yeah. so many different combinations of things that you can do that everybody's gonna screw it up. Can build an ag, steal dark seers shit, and run at everyone. I don't think it works like that. But yeah, I think the cool it. thing about this hero now is, like the old hero, it required all, like obviously a lot of skill as well. But it was more about being super defensive, teleporting back to your replicate. Now it's all about more aggression, right? You're turning into somebody else. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to use that in most cases to be aggressive. More fun to watch. Hoping to see this hero more often in competitive. Oh, yeah, yeah, at least, yeah, I agree. Definitely way more aggressive. Naga Siren sleep buff linger time reduced by point one. That's going to help the uh, the meme hammer, I do believe. I think, um, I think that nerfs it because you can BKB now. Link. What do you mean? Like the oh. the, the way that it worked mm. before is that you you it was it was very hard to like BKB the or or to blink out of uh the the sleep into meteor hammer because there was it, it was like point five linger time and point five on the meteor hammer so. You know, if you, you could literally get it frame perfect, but now you can't. Oh, it's, I see. It's 0. 0.4. Mm. So I you, think there's the... like 0. 0.1 seconds where you could blink or Storm Spirit Zip or use a Yule Scepter or use a BKB or use a Force Staff. I see so, what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, I, I, think, I think that's a, a pretty big nerve. I think the, the Although reason Although now I it's bring... guaranteed that if they don't have a way to get out of it, you can hit it. Right. Yeah. But I think the, the big thing that I was looking at, and maybe it's not the reason for the change, but... The whole you read about the changes or not the changes the the issue with meteor hammer and the sleep right so on like you same, said it was if it's on the same like clock tick on the right same so frame. depending on the server that you're on if you have a good connection uh, since they're being initiated at the exact same time sometimes the other one would go first it's never consistent right so this yeah. makes yeah. it consistent but you're right if they do have a BKB then you're kind of screwed uh, if they made it like point four nine four nine that would be good <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or yeah, nine, nine, sure. nine, 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 These nine. goddamn hold numbers. Yeah. Uh, the Literally. other change, by the way, Song of Siren mana cost increased uh, pretty substantially, Sorry. level two and three. Okay. I beg Nature's profit. Is this hero still in the game? Wrath of Nature cooldown reduced to a static 60, which used to be level three. All the right. level 10 Good. talent increased from 30 movement speed to 40 and 15 talent, eight armor to 10. Well, you'd no never go for the movement speed anyway because he teleports everywhere. You don't need to move. But uh, the 15 talent, the 10 armor, people would go for that. Although I think, what are you choosing between the treants and the 10 armor? Four treants, 10 yeah, armor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So four treants is just so good for split pushing. But that wrath of the uh, wrath of nature cooldown reduction is actually a really big deal. Uh, it was what what was it like 90 second cooldown before at level one? Now it's 60. I remember people would people would build for the octarine core Aghanim scepter, uh, mm -hmm. and, and and that was uh that was considered to be a good build but bad until you have that maxed out Wrath of Nature because of the 60-second cooldown. Mm. You can just constantly push out those waves. Yeah. So now, I mean, we have that at level 1, or at level 1 of Wrath of Nature. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, I, I honestly think that's really good. I mean, that Wrath of Nature, if you can time it perfectly so that it hits somebody on the last tick, at level 1, it does like 600 damage. I mean, it's very hard to to not, it's very hard to survive a gank if he, if, if there's a Nature's Prophet who actually times that correctly. And now a 60-second cooldown, there's a lot more opportunities to, you can move around a lot to, more. to go for those ganks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Necrophos level 15 talent changed from 30 move speed, which they've deleted now, to 16% ghost shroud slow. So it's kind of similar to the doom change, I guess. And level 15 yeah. talent changed from 300 HP to 40 death pulse heal. Ooh. You're choosing between slow or more heal. Yeah, Interesting. And the heal, the he I believe the heal is reduced by half of the... It's the damage, but reduced by half. So 40 is actually a lot in terms of the heal. Um, I know it doesn't look like a lot because you don't get the... The damage numbers are so high, but the heals actually have. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah say that again. What do you mean? 120 at max, so it's a 33 percent buff. So that's, that's, pretty, that's, that's pretty. That's good, pretty actually. significant. Yeah, that's pretty. Wait, good. how much is Death Pulse heal for? Without that, 120. 120 maxed out. So 120, and then with Ghost Rod, it's 240, right? Yeah. Okay. And then plus the 40, aka 80 in that case, extra on top of that. Hmm. Yeah. So it's actually. That's not bad. That's pretty sweet. That's, that's pretty better. Sweet. Good, pretty good for team play. Although I'm pretty it's sure a most people would take. What's that? I, I don't know. I don't know what people. I mean, I think I think those taunts are both kind of a little mediocre, in terms of um, what the hero already offers. Mm -hmm. Like the heroes aren't weak enough that it's like these things. Like, is that really gonna change the fact of whether or not he's getting picked? Probably not. Right. No, and then I the, agree. the move speed would be forty percent if you got that talent at max level. Right. 
So, okay, that's actually pretty good movement speed slow. That's Although, not bad. If you're picking into a lot of right clickers, not a lot of magic damage, it can be a pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he got he got hit with the nerf hammer so hard. He was so fun before too. Oh, he was great. I think I jumped like 600 MMR just playing Necro and Spirit Breaker for a month. <laughs> I would it just, was excellent. I would Disgusting. just pick it and say, "Hey guys, I'll lane in whatever lane you want." <laughs> you know, it, it mm -hmm. didn't matter. You could carry, you could mid, you could. And you could lane. pick it. You could ignore the other team. Just first pick Necro, and you're not going to get just hosed get a, that that bad. Just get a radiance. Now you're going to get hosed pretty bad. But I agree with what you're saying. The it's weird that they didn't really change him for the better or the worse. It just it feels like this is. It's a change, but it's not necessarily clear cut whether it's good or bad or just neutral. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I think it's pretty, pretty neutral. Ogre Magi level twenty talent increased from thirty strength what? to forty. What is this talent? What a beast! That's a lot of strength. I'll tell you what. He's a big, clean boy now. Is that what but is it? Eight hundred no status HP? because he's a. He's in here. That's that right. That is unfortunate for Ogre. Unfortunate, because that honestly, would be so much strength on a strength hero. Honestly, an, an Ogre with status resist, that would probably make the hero pretty good, because you kind of want to run in and bait spells. and, and You're just those. casting and trying to get people to hit you, but not exactly, die. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, it's good, but yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think if you had the status resist, it would be Well, you can get better. an Eon Disc, right? You Ooh. could, yeah, you could. I think I think that's actually a perfect hero for an Eon Disc. Really? Yeah, you, I don't know. Can... He's so tanky already. Is that really good? Yeah, I guess it's not that's like you're true, struggling to get off a spell. Like, yeah. I, I guess it's like sort of redundant. <laughs> well, now with the Aeon Disc uh, cooldown reduction, who oh, knows? Oh, who yes. knows? You never know. That's Omni referring Knight. back to previous things we talked about, not for. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> Thank good. you for bring, bringing something new <laughs> to the good. table. Omni Knight purification cooldown increased, uh, basically the same as level one now. So, a nerf for you, Mr. Jack. That's a pretty big nerf. I mean, yeah. I only play that hero because because there's no other hero that can lane against Gyro, dude. That's the yeah, that's, that's the true. only. Only reason. And now, I mean, that eight second cooldown uh, was a pretty big deal because you could, I mean, you could just run somebody down with a heal. They would be at you know fifty percent HP, and then you could run them run them down into their tower. By the time the tower would kill you, you would have another heal up. I you, watched you do that several times. I mean, this that, week. Yeah, several times. Like that, that's that's mm -hmm. just a way that you play that. That's how you have to play that here on the offlane. You can't really do that anymore. Eleven second cooldown. I mean, that that pussy. that extra three seconds is, is what what three or four tower hits, which yeah. is a lot of the time when you're diving somebody with Omni and you have phase boots. You know, you are at 20% HP when you're diving them. You heal, you go back up to 50, and they're dead. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, that three seconds for how you want to play in the offlane is actually a pretty big deal. Slacks will not be happy. Who won't? Slacks? Yeah. He oh, yeah he's a big, that's his, is that his number one? Well, that's his favorite? Techies. That is his number one. Techies no, he's, he's, techies. he's played more Omni Knight games, I think, than Techies. Has he? He had Omni Knight so. things in his wedding vows. He, he <laughs> yeah, he God. did. He did. What a nerd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dirty thing. I think something about a soul ring for. What else <laughs> oh was there? yeah, I remember that. I remember. I that. think he had all the all the abilities. I'll be your guardian angel for all time. <laughs> something like oh, that. Oh, purify yeah. your soul. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Oracle turn rate improved from 0.5 to 0.7. That's pretty damn good. And the intelligence growth increased from 2.9 to 3.2. Been hearing some straight people pups. wanting or people saying this here is really good now. Who was saying that? Uh, you, you just said it. Spartan, no, other than me, Spartan, I think was saying it. Uh, I, I don't think know. Was pretty good. Maybe. It's, re it's, it's I think it's hero. really good against a lot of like magic damage heroes, like Gyro. Gyro is really popular. Hmm. Um, yeah, I man, I, th I think I think Oracle's been getting buffed. It's one of those heroes like a patch after patch, just buff, 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 and so I think it's kind of gotten to the point. The turn rate was an issue before, so I'm kind of glad that they fixed that because you know you're you're a little slow. It felt it felt very slow, uh, and the intelligence gain. That's going to give him damage, which he has nukes. That's going to give him more mana, which is pretty okay. More right-click, which his base attack time is amazing, and his, his, his attack animation is amazing. But the, the best thing about this, I think, is that you're going to gain uh, extra magic resistance as you as you level up. And that's a hero that really needs to be, you know, if, if, if he, you, you kind of have to go on an oracle if you uh, if you want to take a fight against an oracle team. So mm -hmm. having extra magic resistance could, be, could mean the difference of, of getting an ulti off and not getting an ulti off. So I think that's pretty... I mean, these are these are bigger... Bigger buffs than I think they look like, um, and makes I, them pretty viable. I think I think we'll see Oracle getting picked up a lot in the next. Okay, I'll hold you to that, Jenkins. Months. Looking forward to it. Although he's not a very fun hero to watch, so maybe I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> no. Either way, OD Astral Placement mana cost increased by twenty at all levels. It seems, and level ten talent increased from two hundred HP to two fifty. Okay, whatever. No big change. You pick that over the twenty attack speed. Probably, I think Probably. it's pretty meaty. You're pretty meaty. meaty. Mm. 
And he's a meatball, meat house. PA easy. stifling dagger talent now has a 300 cast range buffer for the secondary target. Huh. What no was the what, means. what was it before? Should we read a little? Uh, yeah, re read read into that one. What does that mean? 300 cast range buffer. I would well, assume it. Wait, how did it work before though? Do you guys know? I think I think it just. You throw a dagger, it would throw it at somebody else. Like, would it bounce off that guy to somebody else, or is it just literally two no, daggers? It, just, it would throw a second dagger. So, okay. It says the double strike stifling dagger talent has a 300 range buffer, giving stifling dagger a secondary detection range of up to 1500. Okay, so so the second one's got a little bit of extra range, oh, okay. basically. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. Interesting. So even if they're beyond the target so, that you hit yeah, so, you get 300 so bonus basically before if you had thrown the stifling dagger at somebody who's max range and there was nobody else in the range it wouldn't throw a second dagger mm -hmm. but now if there's somebody who's past them mm -hmm. there's a 300 300 buffer what are right. the units yards 300 yard buffer What's no the yard? dota's i think not... i think dota's 300 is dota's. <laughs> yeah. right, the right, dota yeah. metric system yes but nobody ever gets this talent anyway right no nobody does it was the coup de gras talent life steal is just or, silly. oh it's, yes it's 20 now yeah yeah, that's pretty good. On PL well, now you can hit people talent. at max range plus some. Oh, who gracious. knows the possibilities? Yeah, you can hit somebody for twenty damage. It sounds horrendous, <laughs> just horrendous. Level twenty-five talent for Phantom Lancer minus five second doppelganger is now minus seven seconds. Uh, I think the other one is the crit, right? Which is disgusting. Am I right? It it it's nasty. Yeah, that it, it is. It makes them do so much damage. I don't see how you could ever take this talent over that one. It's way too good. Yeah, it's 30% crit for double. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've just tested heroes in lobbies with the best possible build, excluding rapiers, and PL is like the second highest damage hero in Dota we, right you now. You were doing that this week. Next, really? to, next to only CK, I think. Really? Uh, barring like ridiculous, mm. you know, like getting seven rapiers on PA or something like that. It's... Mm. He does ridiculous amounts of damage with that crit. It's it's. Well, that's how we lost a game this week. Oh yeah, because it went too late, and then they got that. And Dude, Mott was melted. six slotted on Juggernaut, and he got Solar Crest, and PL killed him in literally like point <laughs> five seconds. He was so mad. He broke his keyboard. He was so <laughs> mad. Very that sounds like Mott to me. I love it. We need to. You guys need to record that behind now. the scenes. By the way, I'd really like to see the Mott we'll rage. A, we'll put a camera on. I'm gonna make like a compilation video. We you saw the Mott rage yes. and the Mott cheer. That's. Better than the Mott Rage is the Mott Cheer. Oh, yeah. he gets when he beats someone who was previously beating him, he <laughs> loves it. It's fantastic. He casts, man. What He's very playing? aggressive he about casts? it, too. Oh, he is. He aggressive. says lots of choice words that I won't make. <laughs> dirty, dirty words. Yes, he's very dirty. <laughs> dirty, boy. He's a dirty boy. Phoenix, level 15 talent, changed from 40 XP gain, which is now gone, to 500 HP. Obviously, that's great, but 40 XP was enormous for this hero. That's a lot and of XP. The level 20 talent from one second supernova stun to 1.25. So, meh. But yeah, this this first level 15 talent, 40 XP gain to 500 HP. Who doggy? I mean, it's like, a, it's like a side grade. I, I mean, the 40% XP was such a big deal because people would go Midas on that hero, even yeah. like third item, just because you would want to get the ulti as high level as possible, mm -hmm. and the talents give you extra hits on the supernova. So it kind of sucks to lose that, honestly, because people, people would go for a level 15 Midas all the time. We saw Universe when... When I don't know how many patches ago it was, a, it was ages ago. This hero hasn't been good for a long time. But when it was played as kind of an off laner, he would build a Midas. Ice 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 was playing it too. They build Midas's eventually, always a Midas, and it wasn't for the gold; it was for the XP. So that XP gain talent is a pretty big deal that it's gone now. Mm -hmm. You know, now you're just a little bit beefier. And then the supernova duration, would you still get the 1400 Icarus dive range? That's you know, a lot of range. I, I, I don't think people go for that because it's it's so hard to. to You're just pubs. It's so hard to hit. <laughs> it doesn't, in pubs, they go for it all the time. It hurts you more than all the more time. than anything. I think with Phoenix, you still go Midas though. I don't think there's any way you don't go Midas because his talents yeah, are I just so, so freaking good. Like his, it's all about to. his egg. You know, late game, it's it's just his egg. That's all that hero is. Yep, he's an egg. That's why 500 health is like who cares? You know, he's, he's yeah. an egg. That's basically what he is. He is an egg. Pudge, all right, this is where you're going to take over, Jenkins, even though it's one line. Why, why, <laughs> one don't, you why, why don't you read this one for us? I'll just scoot out of the way so I... it's you and Pudge talking together. <laughs> <laughs> why you got to do this to me, man? He's not doing it. It's Ice Frog, bro. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look at him. He's oh, not whoa. slow at all. Where'd you come from? 
Hello. Hey, Dad. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm uh, Jacob's dude, father. It's. I don't know. I, is is he getting? Is he winning a lot in pubs? What What is this? What is this? Man, I've been able to play this hero in the off lane for like five patches. Ever since that patch where they they nerfed the hook range or they they nerfed the the hook speed, and they made it so you can't jungle, he's just been getting nerfed, 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 and then they're like, oh, talents. He got good talents, and then nerfed like even more. <laughs> Dude, you actually need to pick up a damn orb of venom to hit people in rot now at level one. Like, why, dude? Yeah, that's right. Why? Rough. What did Pudge? He's not even getting picked in competitive, man. It's all about them pubs. I don't think <sighs> Valve realizes. It doesn't matter how bad this hero is. He will be top five picked hero in pubs forever. That's because he's fun. It's not because he's exactly. fun. Nobody yes. wins with most Pudge. people are terrible. Dude, <laughs> they don't land shit, but it's if you land that one good one, you know, you, you know, look like the god. You're like I got the guy, we were fighting uphill, I pulled pulled him out and god we won. God knows it's random though. There's no skill involved. Oh no, it's a blind hook. It's always blind. <laughs> There's hook. no skill. It's just where you just throw as many hooks as possible and eventually end up in some compilation somewhere. It's like, "Oh, look at that hook." It's like, "Yeah, jokes on you. I threw like 50 of those and missed all of them." Low. If he was playing basketball, his shooting percentage would be terrible. You need oh, to have terrible. like Shaq free throw percentage That's... for sure. I mean, they, they yeah. should have a, a percentage of hooks at the end end game screen. I want the percentage. Really? I would like to see that. Although it's like the, the hook is the hook is so hard to hit now. It's just mm -hmm. it's so it's okay. Maybe it's not hard to hit. It's like it's easy uh... to dodge. It's so easy to dodge. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I could, I could I like go on one. forever. I could honestly... Wouldn't I could that honestly, be a cool talent if it was faster hook speed? I was thinking that, because the puck puck has it for the orb. So yeah. it's not like they're... The Instant ice, hook. Like ice frogs. It's we'll like just a, give a Pudge a plus 400 hook speed. So just, it'll be like one of those goddamn toads that has the, the tongue. <laughs> Maybe it's a frog, not a toad. Oh, that dude. Works. What if that's his... Okay, let's talk about his arcana coming up. Jenkins, Ooh. this is your hero, dude. What, what can they possibly add to this hero that will make him cool as an arcana? He is Ice Frog, dude. And I he's got the tongue. I, don't know. I do have like the seen, tongue idea. You seen how ridiculous you can make this hero look? You can have all these golden things. You can make yeah. a hero like, have a black rot. And, you can make him just rot. a big fat white guy. A big fat white like guy. A forty year old Caucasian know. man who's <laughs> kind of chubby and you smells, be, you and you the smell have, slows people down. Yeah, there's the Chinese one. The, the he's got like a, a like a hook. All right, but here, here's the a I think, Walker well, thing. You guys aren't thinking big enough here, and Carlos oh. should know more about this. Han. Yes. Pudge and Han had a lot of skins. One of them was just a clown. Yes, full terrifying. Clown suit. It was terrifying. You can do a lot of things. You can make him a sumo wrestler. Like just think of all these fat, disgusting, oh, true. great so sets fun. you can make for this hero. You can make him fat bastard from Austin Powers. Oh my god! Just make. Hey, I'm from Scotland. I'm a fat bastard. Wait, was he British <laughs> or Scottish? I don't remember. Whatever he was. I think he's Scottish. Scottish. Because he wears okay. the kilt. Mm. From Scotland, laddie. Yes. Uh, dude, I would enjoy That's that thoroughly. Good. I would I enjoy that a lot. I thought they are just going to make him float like all the other Arcanas. He's just going to mm. float around and be some like, ghost fat Buddha. Man. He could be a floating Buddha. He could be Because he's a big fat man. Ooh. That, eh. I think they're probably going to stay away from that one, most likely. Yeah, religion about, is kind of a touchy thing. What about Santa, Santa Claus? Pudge? Why doesn't oh. he just become Jesus? I think that would be great. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Or uh, Muhammad. Ooh, there you go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the one. That <laughs> and he throws the Holy touch. Spirit out at you and grabs you and pulls you in. And once you're there, they'd have to put his slow to 100% because you can't get away from it. <laughs> you convert to Christianity as Jesus <laughs> when you hook him in. You automatically you leave the game and go to church. It's a free win. Who, who's the Jewish God? <laughs> he hooks you, you leave. God? Is, there, is there a Jewish God? All right, let's not get into religion. Next thing. <laughs> well, we won't start yeah. talking about it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> We've gone off, ta off tangent big time. So Razor static link mana cost increased by 15 much uh, whatever ricky level 15 talent increased from five second smoke screen cooldown to minus seven seconds which is carl can you tell me the downtime on this now is it like three seconds i want to say well yeah it's uh duration six well. down to a four second cooldown all so right so four seconds has, so you're gonna have stacking smokes negative two second for two downtime. seconds you've got Two poops. That's insane. So it was 100% uptime before. I didn't realize yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's insane. That is actually insane. I'm surprised they but, don't have a talent to increase the size of smoke screen. Not that it's needed, but... That'd be pretty cool. Didn't they used to have one? Was that a Han thing? That might have been a Han uh, thing. It was a Han thing. I think so. Anywho, did you have anything there else to say go. before we move on to Rubik? Nope. Rubik, level 15 talent increased from minus 35 fade bolt hero attack to minus 45. Okay. 
It's weird to see him buffed because he's just getting he's getting picked a lot now. So mm-hmm. yeah, I true. usually like the cast range on him anyway. You what? You can snag things from farther away. Oh yeah. Oh, I that's guess, his I other. Because yeah. the talent's not getting picked at all. But they buffed that. Shadow that's Demon level wild. ten talent, twenty five percent XP gain to thirty percent. So he's one of the few heroes that has kept his XP talent. It seems. Yes. Uh, level twenty five talent changed from five disruption banish duration, which is quite possibly the worst talent in the entire game, to two charges of disruption, which now becomes an amazing talent to pick no, up. That's, you yeah, can just well, pull two people out of the fight. Oh, that's really sick. You can save two people too. Imagine, mm-hmm. if, imagine if two people get like static storm by disruptor. You mm-hmm. just, you just pop them both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's uh, the other that with OD choice is the people are gone. You could set up for disruptor mm-hmm. as well. Is the other choice the demonic purge damage? Five hundred damage. Second? Yeah. Okay. I think you definitely take the charges of disruption now, for sure. I think so, as a support. Way too maybe good. if you're like an offlaner. Maybe. Yeah, there's just so much utility that if, with, the with thing two. Is if you're an offlaner, you go for an Agnum Scepter, you can put three on one person. Who's playing with their mic? Who's what? Somebody's playing with their mic. I can hear it. Oh, dude, that was bad. That definitely was bad. wasn't me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not this one right this here. This guy's an mm. amateur, dude. Stop playing with your mic, Carlo. God damn it. It tickled me. Yeah. Anywho, Shadow Fiend, Shadow Raise damage increase per stack reduced. To yeah. ends up being the same at level four, but thank God though. Worse but early levels. on, because it was so frustrating to be to be some hero. It's like, oh, oops, went for a last hit. Guess I'm mm. triple raised and dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, shouldn't have went for a last hit. You know, level two he kills you. Yeah. Level two, uh, level two. It's like, oh, dude, come on. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm just trying to CS here, man. Why you gotta kill me? That's true. That's that's probably the difference of killing someone at level two versus not being able to kill someone at level two. Oh, it really is. Yeah, for sure. Even with the uh, like, if you get a raindrop, you're, mm-hmm. you're definitely. Not going to struggle nearly as much against the early uh, Shadow Fiend levels in the Rays. Yeah. So uh, he need, he need, I, he still needs to get nerfed. Yeah, he, I, I was going to say, this is probably not enough, but I mean, I, I, I enjoy know. watching him, so I don't really mind that much, honestly. But Yeah, honestly, that's true. But as a mid player, I yeah. hate going. <laughs> he just hits so hard. Yeah. As a yeah, as a spectator, it's interesting to watch. But as a mid player, it's like it's you, you can't CS against him unless you kill him. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's I agree with that. Situation. Skyrath Mage, level 15 talent increased from minus six second ancient seal cooldown to minus eight. That's pretty good. Okay. I mean, yeah, it, it is good. Last six seconds. The cooldown is six seconds. That's permanent ancient seal. Eh? Pretty good. You wow. can lock someone out of a fight. Wow. Yeah, that is you, pretty good. You get a nullifier on that hero. But will. as a greedy pub player, I love shooting oh. extra arcane bolts. Yep. You can't get an ags and you you're just throwing it. shit you know, out all over the place and you're just spamming and people are dying and melting. It's with fantastic. With the ags, it's like a pretty hard to argue going for the ancient seal cooldown, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess that's what they're doing with a lot of these talents. They're just buffing the ones that are just so bad compared to the ones that people they're are They're making it a would-you-rather clearly... situation. Well, I mean, you yeah. have to reverse where you want both. Yeah, exactly. Even if you get ags, you get two ancient seals, right? And the ancient yeah, seal sure. itself is better now because of this. Yeah, that 100% is, that is, that uptime is, on two silences. True. That is true. Locking two people out of the fight. But forever. it's not as fun. It's not as fun it's not silencing as fun. somebody it as... It's doesn't do damage. It's the glory do of doing yeah. the most damage. Exactly. exactly. You got to look at the damage after I'm the I'm not game trying game. to support. What are you t- supporting? Slardar. Why silence someone when I can just kill them? Why would you just say I mean, that, that's just the mentality of everybody. Let's be real. It's just, everybody's selfish And this is why nature. people get stuck at low MMRs like myself. Anyway, moving on. Slardar, also known as Sladar, level 10 talent, increased from 20 to 25 damage. Okay, pretty negligible. Um, Slark, level 10 talent, increased from 8 strength to 10, also quite negligible. That's, what, 40 HP. Uh, Spectre, level 25 talent, increased from 20% haunt illusion damage to 40%. I think the other choice is the Spectral Dagger cooldown, I want to say. Wasn't it? Uh, Carlos, our stats guy. Oh, 8%. Okay, they've changed. So they've changed the heck out of her her talents. So the the Spectral Dagger is 20 then, right? Scroll down. Scroll down there. Because it used to be 25, I think. No. Uh, spectral Dagger... The Spectral Dagger cooldown reduction, you mean? Yeah. That's 15 now. Oh. Oh, gracious. There's so That's... many options. So 40% haunt illusion damage. That is... You're doing... Versus an 8% buff on damage reflected. So 22% Wait, what, to 30%. What, what does haunt do right now in terms of hero damage? Uh, scroll down. It does. Okay, so I'll do eighty percent total when you get the talent. I mean, that dude, that's that's a lot. not bad. But but the thing is, a lot of your damage does come from that dispersion. Yeah, that's that the thing. Well, yeah, like, dispersion. Haunt. Other... This is really good 
but that's only for like six, seven seconds, as opposed to dispersion where it's just constantly on, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, and that'd be more so like if you go really hard right clicker and you do a ton of damage really late in the game, you yeah. haunt kill two supports because they can't kill it before it kills you. Right. Well, the thing is, the supports are gonna die to it anyway. I think, mm -hmm. and and then also. Spectre's not like a huge base damage hero. That like Spectre goes for radiance and you know. He's you, more like a slow melt. Yeah, but Spe Spectre Spectre's like a slow melt hero, Mantis style. I mean, that gives you decent stats, but mm -hmm. it doesn't give you that plus damage, which would be which would be great. I think it's. I, I think you'd probably still go for the dispersion. I think in pubs you go for the the damage, bro. Let's be real. Of course, of course, yeah. Especially because everyone else is doing more damage, so it has more impact on your dispersion. Oh yeah, for sure. Like oh, the dispersion yes. late game is so good. You're gonna have a heart. Yeah, definitely the right choice. So. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Sven, level 15 talent changed from 30 damage to storm hammer dispels enemies, which used to be the 20, the 20 talent. Thank you. The level 20 talent changed from that to minus five seconds storm hammer cooldown. And then 25 talent changed from minus nine second cooldown to storm hammer to plus 0.75 seconds storm hammer stun duration. What's his other 25? It is 40 strength on God's strength. Yeah, that's, that's pretty way good. better as a strength that's hero. Pretty, I think you want that's that. pretty damn good. That's way better. Jesus. That's uh, yeah. status resist. That's HP regen. That is that's obviously 800 damage. HP. That's 40 damage. Yeah, you're right. It's everything. 40 damage amplified by mm -hmm. the... You could have all that or 0.75 second extra stun duration. Hmm? <laughs> what it should be is huh. it hits the next closest hero regardless of how close they are. That, 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 that'd be so pretty that way, like, someone's isolated and they move away to not stun their group with the AoE. It they, still goes and hits someone else. They oh. should just make it global. Global stun. Global I think the biggest. We're giving two swords just for animation purposes. What's the other fifteen talent? It is thirty movement speed, which is pretty good. Okay, talent. so now you actually go for Stormhammer dispels enemies, right? Which in uh -huh. some games will be ridiculously good. You're playing so. against. Depends, uh, yeah, it depends on the game. I know people would like to go for movement speed there, just because it, it speeds up your farming movement between the camps. And you get the bonus movement speed coming from the uh, whatever the armor <laughs> ability is called. That that is percentage based, right? So that that that's gonna increase your movement speed even more. Twelve mm. percent, uh, yeah. Which, which is just I if mean, that's great. Playing, Sven gets kited a lot too. So if you're playing against Omni Knight, this is a hard counter now. Oh yeah, I think it's just very that situational. Is so good. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely who you're playing against. I think it's more. It is situational. But I think it's more common than a normal. Like usually when I say situational, it's like ah, eh, every once in a while. I feel like this is pretty good, fairly often. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, but you if do there's have anything choice. to dispel, basically. Sometimes there isn't. But if there isn't, then it's just cool. I get a free 30 movement speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I think this is one of those few towns where it's actually one of those ones where you could go for either, either just depending on the yep. game. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be pretty obvious which one you go for. I still think you're going to pick the 25 lifesteal at 20 and the, tw the 40 strength at 25, though. Yes. I think so, too. Agreed. Terrorblade base HP regen reduced by 0.25. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, and Reflection no we longer play? reduces attack speed, which is nice. But Reflection is That's still good. OP. Yeah. I'm shocked they didn't change the Reflection talent. That's 100% uptime. That makes no sense to me. It's way too nuts. At least that it doesn't reduce attack speed anymore, though. I guess. Was that really that big of a deal? I don't know. I don't know if you would turn an attack Terrorblade while reflected. Anyway. That, that's the thing. Good. I didn't even know this slowed the attack speed, so that just goes <laughs> to show how <laughs> little like effect it is. <laughs> really, the annoying part is that there's some hero attacking you, doing almost the same damage as you. Like that. That's kind of that's kind of yeah. the awful part about it. Very strange. This one I love personally. Tinker, laser oh scepter, bounce radius reduced from 650 to 400, which is a huge nerf. Uh, laser mana cost increased. Uh, let's see. I guess it's more at the earlier levels. And then level 20 talent from instead of 100 damage, you get 10 armor, which is actually probably better for Tinker, I want to say. Yeah, that, that that's that's definitely good. No, Nobody would go for the damage talent. Level 20, you're not clicking anymore. No, you're not at all. People Wait, what, what's the, the other march, choice? The march, march? Eight march damage. So okay. people will go for the march damage, but basically only because the 100 damage sucked. And uh, I think I think you would actually go for the 10 armor now because in the late game, at this point, when you're level 20, your damage is going to be coming from your, your laser and your rockets. March is fine, but it, it does a lot of damage without that 8 damage. I mean, 8 damage is fairly negligible. 10 armor on a hero that doesn't have a lot of armor and a hero that gets focused in fights, mm. like, I mean, that, that, that it's going to double his, more than double his armor at that point. So you can actually... Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot harder to kill a Tinker. I, I actually think Tinker... That, that could potentially turn out to be a huge... Buff That's definitely nice, but the laser scepter bounce radius thing is pretty That's ginormous pretty nerf. Yeah, because it was 400 far. range. That's like a berserker's call, I want to say, range. 
something like that yeah it's so now you actually have to you can't just i mean i guess you can still spam it because you tinker but you have to maybe put a little bit more thought into it as can't just hit to, anybody anymore right yeah i mean we'll see Although, in practice i don't know how it actually i guess will look. i guess if you're rearming anyway like you yeah just gonna keep spamming it so mm -hmm. we'll see Tiny tree grab cooldown increased dramatically at the earlier stages. Six seconds at level one differential. Uh, okay. It is what it is. Tiny's a pretty good. good hero. So he pokes pretty hard. Good. He's pretty good. Tree ant protector level 10 talent change from 35% XP gain to plus two living armor block instances. That's huge. The 15 talent improved from three second re tree respawn time to two. You can make this zero seconds, and I don't think people will t take that anyway. Level 25 talent changed from plus six living armor block instances to 700 AoE living armor heroes and buildings. That's quite strong. I don't know what the level 25 is, though. What's the other one? What are you choosing between? Because the 700 AoE sounds very, very good. Uh, if you eyes, make it that far. The, the, 350 the, eyes and overgrowth AoE. Right, which, which I think... So that's only if you have ags, right? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. if you have ags at that point, you're going to... I mean, that it's insane, the amount of coverage that you get with the, with those trees. You know, I actually went for the three-second tree respawn time uh, the other day in a pub. I was against Batrider Beastmaster. They kept cutting my trees. I was like, screw you guys. You <laughs> I'm <know>? going for <laughs> it. <laughs> so it was actually good? It was actually good because I, I couldn't get around in fights because huh. and, I, and I couldn't get around in the map because they were cutting all the trees. So mm. it was actually pretty, uh, pretty damn effective. Interesting. Wow, that's... I would love to look at the percentage of times that is picked up because I would be shocked if it's above ten percent. That was yeah, that was like the one time I picked it up. That's ninety damage funny. is a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah it's that's a lot. the yeah, ninety it's a lot damage people, or yeah, it's a lot. trees regrow. I mean, I'm not one for nature personally, so I'll take the damage more times than not. There's more trees. There's a lot of trees on the map. What yeah, there's, <laughs> we're not running out of trees in Dota. All right, that's things right. are fine. They regrow pretty fast. Troll Warlord, level 10 talent, increased from 200 HP to 250. And the 15 talent increased from 50 Whirling Axes damage to 75. So, okay. But the buff, basically buffing talents people were not going for yeah. in right. the first place. Undying, as we're rounding this out now, level 10 talent increased from 100 cast range to 150, which is pretty big. 15 talent increased from 20 decay duration to 30. Mm. And the 20 talent, 3 tombstone attacks to plus 4. This one, I would be interested, if you have Undying up, to look at every single one of these talents, what it's pitted up against. Yeah, so we've got level 10 is 8 health regen, or the now 150 cast range. Okay. 15 is the 30 decay duration, or tombstone on death. Which people would go for the tombstone on death. Yeah. Uh, level 20 is 4 attacks, or plus 30 tombstone zombie damage. Most people go for the damage. I Especially would go if for you the drop tombstone, tombstone and you get the zombies, the zombie damage rather. Double kind of doubles the damage. I like this new talent. I don't know. I do too. I think I think I like the new. A lot of hits. Dies really quickly. All right, pretty cool. Ursa Fury Swipe Roshan duration increased from six to ten. Oh, wow. I like how he has a specific interaction now with Roshan. Yeah, because uh, yeah. they love each other. Was I it think it's a just status guy. resistance that was screwing him over? Is that what it was? Roshan status resist? Yeah. Does Roshan have status? Oh, yeah, he does. Right, right. Oh, good call. So I don't know that's if that's definitely the reason that was only... Because, like, Ursa's Fury Swipes last for how long? Like, 20 seconds? Like, something ridiculous, right? Something ridiculous on Heroes, yeah. But on Roshan, it's only, it was only six seconds, apparently, which is yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, people, people were soloing Roshan at level one by kiting it in and out of the pit and just mm. getting the... Like, using solves and mm. stuff. Yeah, it's 20 on Heroes. Uh, yeah, 20. 20. So okay. Roshan, pretty, pretty meaty. Yeah, he's Strength guy. He's, he's a, a big boy. boy. The so meat, the thing, the I think is a real shit hero, though, because I, agree. I don't like the idea of a hero being 100% reliant on Roche or else you're garbage. And even if you get Roche, you're probably still garbage because you're getting kited. This hero, yeah. I think, just needs a rework. I really don't like him. Yeah, um, big slow bear. Uh, I played him the other day, and I was laning against a Tide Hunter, and he went max gush because Ursa counters Tide. And then I was like, aha, I'm going to outlane you. And then I did, and then I went into the mid game, and then I fed because I was Ursa. It's like, God, oh, I see why people don't get this. <laughs> yeah. I just got silenced. A weird hero, very one dimensional. Venomancer level 15 talent increased from 150 cast range to 200. Level 20 talent increased from six second poison nova duration to seven. And 25 talent, 600 poison nova AoE to 800. So, can we get that list, Carlo? Another. Some comparison. Yes. So, the cast range, you're either choosing 200 cast range or 6% poison sting slow. Okay. 
All right. Cast range is pretty nice there. But cast range is uh, only for one spell, right? Just your spit. Well, you could put wards for farther. Throw oh, yeah. I guess. For yeah. defending and stuff. Not yeah. bad. And for scouting, for forgetting vision. It's actually pretty decent. That's not bad. Level 20, you're choosing between Gale, Hero, Impact, summons two wards. That's pretty uh, great. Or the seven second duration. That is pretty crazy if you hit two or three people. There's just wards everywhere, and you can't even Especially run through if, them. if you go for the cast range, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's really good for uh, uphill defense. But six seconds poison nova duration. There's very few spells in Dota that do anywhere near the amount of damage that poison nova does. And six seconds on that? How much damage seven. per second does it Seven do? seconds. That's true. Seven seconds? Yeah. It oh, was it's increased. seven seconds now. All right, right. Okay. Yeah, so it's 80 DPS, 110 if you have seven. 110. So 110 times 22. So we got we got like a three thousand damage almost ultimate with veil, int. It's you press it on somebody. But you could get two wards if you hit your gale correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like uh, the wards. Uh, well, well, that sounds pretty good now that you say it like that. You know. And sorry, what was the twenty five talent? The twenty five is uh, eight hundred poison nova AOE or three x plague ward HP and damage. Oh, yeah. So if you get the longer mm. range. The summon on hero hit and the damage, and that's not bad. Not bad. I think it depends Especially if you're going on against the Darkseer where they all group up because you're going to try to AoE run in and you hit all yeah, of them with okay. your Gale. I'm, I'm so conflicted on that one because the, the Plague Ward HP and damage is so, it's so good. It's so good. It almost one hits creeps. You can't not see. It's so easy to siege high ground with this hero because the wards, they'll tank like 15 hits from the tower. Before dying, and they hit the tower for like five percent of its H. It's so stupid. It's it's the damage it does. But six hundred range on the poison nova. I mean, have you guys seen the range? It's eight hundred. Oh, it's eight hundred. Eight hundred. They just buffed it. Before it was like basically your entire screen. Yeah, that's pretty big. And I now think it, it's it's ult. more about like if you're able to get your ult off at decent positioning, then you don't get this skill, right? I guess that's true. Like if, if you, you if you're, you're having a real like a shit time, but you're level twenty five somehow. <laughs> 800 extra AOE. You're going to hit everybody on the other team. It's just going to happen. Like, if you don't, then you need to be I'm cut. pretty sure that's like 25% of the whole map. I feel like <laughs> this is true. Just <laughs> everything's poisoned. It really is. That's you kill like eight neutral stacks now, yes. because everything just melts. That's, that's what Venom wants, man. He mm. wants everything to be poisoned. <laughs> right. I'd like to see Venom start using his ult on neutrals that work like that. Mm. Just just oh. kill him everything. You know, easy, easy farm. You can yeah. hit like your whole, your whole jungle gets poisoned. When are they going to make a poison ivy? look for Venomancer. That's literally from Han, actually. That Yep. They had the sexual woman throwing yeah. poison at people. It was actually called Poison Ivy, I'm pretty Venom, sure. That was, if that was how mm -hmm. Venom looked. Yeah, she was great. That's Venomancer. That's how I choose my heroes, is how sexual they thought. look. Or, sorry, true. Visage. Soul Assumption Talent now has a 300 cast range buffer for the secondary target, so similar to the PA thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and added a secondary ability on Visage to make the nearest familiar land each time it is clicked. Wait, what? Added secondary ability on Visage to make the nearest like, familiar. So you don't have land. to click oh, on. Kind of like okay. TA trap. Okay. It's weird. That's weird. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Make it make it the easier hero, I guess. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to click on the. Um, Please take anymore take to make the skill out of Visage button. so I can play him. Thank you. That's what I'd like to see. This one I'm very interested, but you guys are gonna think Warlock level 10 talent increased from 125 cast range to 150. The level 15 talent instead of getting rid of the 40 percent XP gain it is now 60 percent. 60 percent. Holy. Ball sack and then level oh, 20 talent, 250 automatic shadow level 25. Dirty yes. balls, that's a lot of XP gain. That's a lot. What's his other choice, my friend? Well, you either get minus seven second shadow word cooldown or 60% HP. XP okay, you not go for yeah. the XP gain on a hero that does well. That's the just other so thing much. to keep in mind level 20, you do get the AoE shadow word, so maybe not as clear cut. Like, if you're already getting oh, a lot of experience, if you're already having an okay time, maybe you don't get the ridiculous XP gain. Because at a it's certain true. point, that becomes like once you're 25, then it doesn't pay off anymore, right? It does literally nothing, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can't do anything. But that's the trade off. Because then that. it takes your shadow word from a 16 second to a 9 second with a 12 second duration. So you just everyone has shadow word all over what them the whole time. What damage does it do per second? 45 DPS. 45. Okay, and so a 45 heal per second, too. That's another thing to think oh, about. Oh, yeah, you could. Okay, so I wonder if you heal your ally with it and you hit somebody with the AoE, do you, does it do damage as well? Ooh. I mean, that could be really good. I, th I think it's more effective to use as a heal because the damage is reduced by the magic resistance, obviously, but the right. heal isn't. So I think as a heal. But, I mean, yeah, as a heal, that, that could be awesome for, for sieging high ground. Like you, Imagine like AoE thing. Surge and Shadow Word AoE, guys. And then grave, oh, you grave I'm somebody, great. surge them out. Everyone's just healing and running. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. No one's dying. <laughs> That's for sure.
Unless Weaver, they fear you back to the well, then you're not going to die anyway, but you're back in your well. Weaver, level 10 talent, increased from 25% XP to 35. That's between that and the mana break, mana break. right? Yeah. Which Ooh. it's, so it's becoming a tougher so choice now. It is. But the mana I break love is mana way I guess, too good. I guess if you want to go for like the Aghanim Scepter Solar Crest Weaver, well, then still you're functioning as a pseudo DPS hero, though. Like, I don't know. I like mana break just because it's, it's one item gives it to you. Yeah, I mean, it, Otherwise, it's, the thing like, is, if you, if you pick a mana break and Diffusal Blade, you, you burn somebody's mana from, mm -hmm. from full, like, so easily. If it's like a Centaur or something, which, you hit them a couple times. As I said before, everyone needs mana. Everybody needs mana. <laughs> Every single <laughs> Well <game>. said. Except <laughs> for... Some deep insight into the game of Dota. <laughs> everyone needs mana, and without it, you can't cast spells. Is there any hero that doesn't need mana? Right? But the one thing to keep in mind is, like, with a 35% XP gain, you're basically going to get 25, right? And his 25 is pretty damn good with the Shikuchi speed. Uh, Gucci. The other one's pretty sucky, I think. I actually saw some a pro take that geminate attack. Have you seen that before? Really? A they lost attack. literally a minute later. <laughs> literally. <laughs> you know when the it movement was, speed's crazy. When it was magic resist, I'm not going to name names, but I know a certain player that went for the 20 percent magic resist instead of the Sakuchi speed, dude. In a competitive game, and I was like, dude. How hey, could you sometimes go for that? it's good. Sometimes that, I, I thought. Okay, here's the thing though. I thought that skill or that talent was better. Than the Geminate attack one. Oh, uh, for sure. I think I think it's better. I still it's th situational. I think the speed is just it's yeah, just too good. You can't get it from anything else. That's the, no, I think that's the differentiator. You're just the fastest man alive. Exactly. You're like it's it is just called the Usain, Usain Bolt talent. Yeah. You're just sprinting everywhere. <laughs> Wind Ranger shackle shot mana cost reduced uh, at the earlier. I guess at all levels, but more so at the yeah. earlier levels. Level 25 or level 20 talent increased from 0.5 second shackle shot duration to one second. This here is fucking garbage. Is this here ever going to get fixed to be not garbage? <laughs> you know, I just don't know sometimes. Every time this hero gets buffed, I go play it on offlane. I feed and then I'm like, I'm never playing this hero again. <laughs> yep. You're going to do it's that tonight? She's so fun though. She's fun. You yeah. can shoot from far away. You shackle people. You run away. It's just, it's a fun hero. Oh, right, no, not, it's, not to, uh, it's probably a good hero. I think I'm just garbage with it as well. Not you know, to bring up Han again, guys, because I know people get triggered. Actually, they don't get triggered that much anymore. But Carl, you remember this Aluna? Is that what her name was? Aluna. Aluna. She had the. Let's just call it the power shot that was global. Oh yeah. So that was she basically excellent. she had a power shot that was basically just power shot, right? But then her ultimate could make it global. And it doesn't get reduction in damage uh, by the units it hits. So you could, like, there were actual global rampages from a global, like, from fucking fountain to fountain, just because they're just all lined up. Killing, like, a that, whole fight and just killing everyone behind them. That is a fun hero. Windrunner is a piece of fucking shit. Fix her. She's garbage. I hate her. They need her. to go play some Han. They you know, do. They really I actually liked how Power Shot was before they buffed it. Like... I feel like it was there was way more cool stuff like those rampages. You would see power shot triple kill. I, it's very rare that you see that happening now. Is you usually just use it to nuke one person for a lot of damage. It's kind of just like a. Mm -hmm. It's honestly just kind of like a pseudo nuke now. It's just it's just like a targeted ability almost. You know what the most disgusting period for Windrunner was? It was about I think this happened for maybe three four weeks, where I, I can't remember the exact talent it was. I know Weha did this and cancel where they would get Octarine Core. Do you remember that? And they would just power shot constantly. Oh, the like machine gun was pretty much nothing. Yeah, it was so stupid. It's like she's doing no damage, but she's doing doing it so often that it's a little bit of damage. She's very hard <laughs> to kill. It's just like, why is this in the game? Yeah, I, I think it. I did that in a turbo game. Did you? And it was so much fun. Is she she still has the cooldown yeah. reduction, right? I Did can't remember what was changed. Something was changed. You can't do that anymore, though. So let's see. What did they change? I'm not what sure. Oh, cooldown reduction is a 25. So. Mm. So it takes a little longer to get there, but you can still get there. Right, right. Yeah, very, very important. Wraith King, level 15 talent, or sorry, Wyvern. Arctic Burn, mana cost reduced to be a static 90, which was the level 4 previously. And level 10 talent increased from 50 damage to 60. What's the other 10 talent? Well, if I could type, I could tell you, but I'm well, let me guess. very, very... I actually can't remember. Guess. You have to guess. Uh, gold per minute. It's gold per minute. Level 10 is 90. Like 90? Yeah. 90 gold per minute. I guess that I didn't look. Or 60 damage. Right. Or up, yeah, 60. So uh, people, go the, people go the GPM as support. Off gold's lane, nice. Yeah, but if, like you're, if you're ice, ice, ice and play off lane, you get but, 10 extra damage now. But they, uh, Ooh. I mean, yeah, that is true. I, I think they people stopped playing it as an off laner when, uh, when the, the damage time was at 15 and it was 75. So it was a, or was it 90? It was a lot of damage. It basically mm -hmm. made it so you did, you did like a core mm -hmm. amount of damage. So, and then they put it to 
10 and then 50. And then by the time you wanted your Wyvern to do damage, he didn't anymore because it's just 50. So 60 is good. That is good. That might put, put, uh, put him past that threshold. Of, uh, you might get it again. You'll see yeah. him yeah, back yeah. in the, the off lane. Yeah, that's totally possible. I mean, I think it was 75 before and people were... That's why it fell off because they changed that. We'll see, friend. We'll see. I hope you're right. I, I did enjoy watching that. Wraith yeah, King, looked... level 15 talent changed from plus 5 max skeletons to plus 25 skeletons attack damage, which used to be... Yep, at 20, which used to be 30 skeletons attack damage. Uh, for level 20 talent is now two times skeleton spawned. So my thoughts, this is better than before. Skeletons are still garbage, though. So. <laughs> I, 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 I'm inclined to agree. I've never seen somebody use the skeletons very, very well yet. Well, I think we saw it in a game the other day. They just run wherever they want. They just, They're out of they control. Just, they just do whatever they want. I'm like yeah. hitting the tier three, pop my skeletons. They're like, fuck you. I'm going to the neutral camp that's on the other side of the map. Like, we like to farm. What the fuck? It's like the angry carry on your team that just wants to go farm. Like, I have that mindset. I, you if you more? could Wraith Fire Blast Towers, then it wouldn't be a big deal. That could be a, a talent, perhaps, in the future. Oh, that could Stun be sweet. That could be cool. Dude, is there, is there anything that stuns towers? Jakira slows them. Like meme Hammer. Towers. Who? Meme Hammer. Oh, Meme Hammer. Mm. Does, does it stun towers? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it actually stunned them. I think. <laughs> I, okay, now I'm doubting myself. Oh, I, I, I don't I'm know. Pretty I'm not sure. saying wrong. I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm pretty it's sure it's only a two-second stun duration, right? Well, I shouldn't say only. That's kind of a lot, but... So anyway, the, the level 20 talent, that one's between the two-time skeleton spawn and the no mana cost to the reincarnation, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. You're and right. then 15 talent point. is 25 skeletons attack damage or what? 15 strength. Oh, right. Yeah, 15 strength's way better. You gotta go for the strength, man. You're trading people for half their HP. Yeah. You gotta go for the strength. All right, last but not least, Zeus, level 25 talent, increased from 200 cast range to 275. Garbage. What was the other one? Is that it used to be it's the arc lightning. arc lightning? Still is. Oh yeah, it's 170 arc lightning damage. It's so much, yeah. which is yeah. wild, wild. It's crazy with how you with how you can spam that, especially with an octarine core and the cooldown reduction. Oh yeah. It, it, there's no there's no. It more than doubles the damage. It takes it to 315. Yeah, there's no choice. You which is you almost as much as lightning bolt. You do so much serious damage in the late game. I mean, yeah, like almost uh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt's 350. It's considered to be one of the best nukes in Dota. Period. And and, and arc, arc lightning's 315 at that point. Right. It's 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 just it's just too good in my opinion, which presumably is why they're buffing this talent, and they'll probably continue buffing it because eight hundred cast range, perhaps. Maybe because there's no choice. Like no <laughs> global cast range on cast all range. abilities. <laughs> global <laughs> double global. He just sits on in the ult. fountain at that point, just arc lightning well, people given two, for no damage. Given two global abilities, may, may as well make everything global. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Easy people. He actually isn't even a hero on the map anymore. He just gets to float above <laughs> and cast things on anyone who wants. <laughs> that kind of and he sense. can't die anymore. That kind of makes sense. You have to buy lore. two yes, two lore. eggs to get that though. The lore. Double eggs. All right, that so that is the end of seven point one zero patch analysis. What were your What are you guys' thoughts on the patch? And is there anything that, in particular, stands out to you as something you like or dislike? Well, I plan on playing a lot of Treant Protector because I think that hero oh, is that hero's pretty damn good. I okay. think uh, they're going to continue nerfing a lot of the meteor hammer heroes, and I think the ones that are still able to meteor hammer, those ones are going to be good because that that item is that item's a, That's meme a fun right item. Now. Yeah, I think Oracle's good. I think off lane's hard. I think Roamers get the the, the tome now. Um, Roamers have to. Maybe more dual lanes in off lane. That's because, what I'm excited off lane, for. Because off lane is so damn hard now. Like, I love dual lanes. When we played lane. pubs, it's, I mean, it's obviously not the pro scene, but it's just so close, much fun so. to go. Oh, it's almost, it's very close. Yeah, that's right. That, uh, that, that 4K bracket exactly. that I'm almost into <laughs> is uh, very competitive. Oh, you're getting there. I'm getting there. Mostly because you're carrying me. But yeah, it's, it's just the bully off lane is so much fun. And now, if you need that for experience and people are going to fight more, cool. Yeah. All right. So anything catch your eye this time around? Uh, Carlo? I think it's just that... Just the rooms. general? The bounties? No more XP. I think so, too. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty big deal. I think Dark Willoughby in Captain's Mode is very fun. Um, and there was one more. Now I'm gonna. it's going to be bothering me if I don't find it. Probably the melee creep gold reduced by one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty a impactful that's a pretty on you. Of course. That is, pretty <laughs> that is a pretty big deal. Uh, Centaur needs to be buffed, of course. Uh, boots being changed. Fuck, where, where was I looking? Oh, Morphling. I hope oh, this yeah. becomes a thing. Uh, of course, like you, like Jenkins was saying, people are going to screw this up a lot in Puzz, but in the pro scene, I hope this becomes... You can see some cool shit. Okay. Yeah, you're going to see some really cool stuff. So, looking forward to that. All right, any final words, friends, before we bid everybody adieu? 
Have fun, Jenkins, pub have fun pubbing for the next week, guys. Yes. Have fun with your morphlings feeding. One and seven in the safe lane. All right. So but thanks for joining us, friends. Good luck thank with you. your dark thank you guys. team running at people. Yes. You guys can let us know how that strategy works out for you. I'm sure you'll be gaining a lot of MMR thanks to us. You can thank us later. Uh, you can follow Unless us at Jenkins Dota. Wait, why did you explain why your Twitter is three X tacos? Well, if you've ever seen the show Reno Nine One One, the taco place there is called Tacos Tacos Tacos. Oh, that's, a show. that's the mystery behind Tacos Tacos Tacos. That's what my my handles Tacos Tacos Tacos. But it's it's much too long to say that repeatedly. <laughs> Hello, this is Tacos Tacos Tacos. Thank tacos, you for tacos, joining us. Mott always does it, by the way. You'll catch him. He he won't say Three X Tacos very much unless he's telling people to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, <laughs> until next time, friends. And two weeks from now, we'll be back. Bye -bye. See y'all later.